G'day, g'day, everyone. How is everyone? Welcome. The great Ethan Van Skyver has, has summoned you for a meeting, for an audience. Uh, you're all going to be audience to the, the great one. Say hello, Ethan. Well, I, I mean, don't, you know, don't build me up like that. I, uh, uh, you know, humble, you know, charming, elegant, eloquent, humble. Uh, so we, we put emphasis on hum, uh, my humility. Uh, mm. It's gr really great to be here. I mean, thank you for having me on. Um, like I was telling you uh, in the in the quote unquote green room uh, just now, uh, I've been up all night watching your uh, life without Liam videos and uh, <laughs> thoroughly enjoying them. I mean, uh, you know, really, really, really good stuff. Hello, yeah, chat. I'm, Hello. I'm so glad that you're enjoying them. I um I think I, I caught some of yours uh, today when you when you were talking about it, and I thought you know it's really great that uh, that you're drawing along to it. And um, so, because I know Kelsey Shannon also draws along to life, uh, live with Liam. And I just love that idea that you guys are sitting there drawing and listening to this madness just unfurl. Oh, it's so entertaining. And the thing about it is, is that, uh, you know, really, when you're immersed in comic skate like we are, we're just like, who's streaming next? You know, who can we watch next? Who's coming up? And, mm. uh, you know, whoever, whoever is up, uh, we're watching, we're drawing, uh, this, this entire summer is, uh, it's just like 2019. I mean, I'm just kind of in the house. I'm working, I'm trying to get the, uh, the sequel to cyber frog done much quicker, try to get it done on time, get it out early. And so, uh, I need to be entertained and you are entertaining me. Uh, so uh, thank you. I'm glad. What, what do you think of the new format? What do you think of the uh, the life without Liam as opposed to live with Liam? Well, I you know I I must have missed something. I saw like Liam have a, a, a series of nervous breakdowns, uh, which were <laughs> <laughs> incredibly entertaining. I mean, he was it was very alarming when QAnon was coming after him, and he was running around the mall like James Bond. Uh, a, a little orange James Bond, like, guys, they're after us. It's serious now. Uh, they know that we've won, and we're going to control the comic book industry, and they can't. They just can't have that, guys. Uh, so uh, they they blew up my – did he say my router? They they, they, yep. they blew up his router? He uh, couldn't quite decide whether it was his second or his third router they'd blown up, but it was it was one of those. Hmm. Hmm. I was uh, I was amazed by that. I was spellbound. And it's like normally I can put something on and just sort of – listen to it but i stopped all activity and just stared at the screen while liam was running around talking like uh you know look we're in real trouble now i mean there's some people who thought they could get away with making comic books but they can't i mean this is the culture war this is very serious uh you know uh look out so uh <clears throat> excuse me so uh that was impressive and then i saw liam uh announced recently a couple days ago that he was not going to stream ever again uh, and mm -hmm. I don't know what caused that. Um, I missed that whole part. Yeah. So what what happened was that um, Liam decided that he needed a, a break because uh, he is a sensitive soul. He's a he's a very honest and uh, fragile artistic soul. Oh, honest to a fault. Yes, you could you could say. Yeah. So he he was getting a lot of heat uh, with the the war can war campaign dissolution. So he said, oh, I'm, taking a, I'm taking a break. And I said, oh, for how long? And he said, I don't know. And I said, well, are we talking days? And he said, no, nah, probably weeks. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, no worries. So I said, see you later. And then um, every day I kept asking him, so are we streaming tonight? Are we streaming tonight? And uh, he kept saying, no, 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 no. And then um, I kept putting forward like ideas for streams, like you know, um, <laughs> different theme streams, trying to trying to grab him with something, and he just refused. So um, after four days, I was like, you know, I really miss talking to people. Yeah. I really, I really miss having people in the chat saying really funny things to me at night, um, which is your morning, but it's my night. And uh, I was getting heaps of messages from people saying we got nothing to watch in the morning now. <laughs> so. I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'll I'll just start up my uh, my my show and uh, live without Liam was born. Now I had um, I had a few characters on for the first night, 
and uh, I think Testify HD came on, and then um, Mike Oxmoor came on. Yeah. <laughs> And and basically wipe the floor with Testify HD with regard to Vestige Two. Oh, it was unbelievable. And, and I was just like, oh, okay, well, that was that was interesting. And um, and then I said, you know, I kicked Mark Cox more, and I said, yeah, don't listen to that guy; he's a dickhead anyway, even if he's right. And then <laughs> um, and then the next day, poor Liam. That that evening, I just went to bed. But that evening, he got bombarded with people that were just blaming him for the show and it was just like he had half of his friends saying like sending a message saying how dare you um try and cancel war campaign and and put that put mike oxmall on to to yell at testify and then the other half of the people were like how could you platform war campaign your channel is just a war campaign channel because it's all war campaign. That's <laughs> why I like, watch it. That's why I yeah, watch yeah. it for the war campaign stuff. You uh, know? Yeah, and he said, um, "I'm I'm bushwalking. <laughs> He's <laughs> out bushwalking, looking for birds and koalas and shit." And um, so <laughs> that's <laughs> exactly flipped. what I want him to be doing. Don't ask him yeah, to yeah. come back. He needs that's to be right. bushwalking. That's right. That's what I said. So and and then so he came back and he went into a fury. And he, he filmed a short 10 minute stream in which he um, blasted Testify. He blasted World Red User One. God knows what World Red User did to him. And mm. then um, he said, uh, That's it, I quit. And then someone in the chat said um, something about Zach, like, uh, Are you going to apologize to to Zach? <laughs> um, and he said, Fuck Zach. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Aww. he quit. But he wasn't saying fuck Zach as in like Zach can get fucked. It was like fuck like It's like know, I don't want to just, talk about Zach. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck the Forget. the idea of talking about Zach. Fuck that's that. right. That's not gonna okay. keep me on YouTube is what he was saying. It was like yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay on YouTube and be like Zach sort of thing. And then um yeah, so it lasted forty one minutes. And then he came back and he said, I'm, I'm, I apologize, I haven't quit. And then he went on for another hour monologue. So but, then, uh, but he's gone now, right? I mean, it, oh, he, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, I just woke up to that and I didn't know. And I actually, um, I didn't watch his videos and I, I, I messaged him again. I said, So you're streaming tonight? Because <laughs> I asked him every night. And he's like, No. Well, there are a lot of people that are saying, well, maybe by a lot, I mean, uh, just one testify HD is saying he lied about, you know, wanting to uh, quit having quit, uh, you know, his social media. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, evidently, he did not lie. And he really did quit social media, he is not going to stream again. Well, we did, we did have probably a, a 40 minute provocation on what the, the word that quit means and its entomology. Um, I think eventually after the 40 minutes, we just agreed to disagree that Liam was a liar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, for you, I mean, you know, I, I got to say this reminds me of, and, and, you know, of course I, I live in the 1950s. I mean, I, I do all my taste in music, you know, fifties, early sixties, this is like the Martin and Lewis breakup. Uh, and, uh, you know, Jerry Lewis didn't want to break up with Dean Martin, didn't want to. Uh, he wanted to, you know, keep performing as Martin and Lewis, even though he was doing, and Oz, let's be frank, you were doing the majority of the work, weren't you? Uh, yeah, you yeah, know. I've I've said that openly a number of times, yeah. I basically <laughs> provide all the content for the show, and Liam provides the uh, the the uh, the contacts, because I don't have uh, any, any, I don't follow anybody, so I don't have any direct contact with uh, creators. Yeah, so, you know, they didn't... Uh, so, you know, of course, Jerry Lewis went through some uh, time, and I'm comparing you directly to Jerry Lewis now. I don't know how you feel about that. But, is you know, this, uh, I would prefer Jerry Lee Lewis, but go on. No, you don't want, he, he fucked his 13 year old cousin and then married her. So you don't want that. Uh, or do you? I don't know what, what goes on in Australia. We, uh, yeah, we don't really have that sort of thing go on here. Okay. Well. Mm. Uh, in, in any case, uh, yeah, Jerry Lewis went on to have a fine career on his own, um, mm. more or less. So mm -hmm. uh, that's you now. I mean, that's what this show is. This is the Jerry Lewis show uh, starring mm -hmm. Oz. 
And uh, congratulations, because so far it's fucking, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining indeed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you find it entertaining. Um, I wanted to, I wanted <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The only reason anyone has heard the name of Oz is because of Liam. I beg to differ. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, probably predates uh, Liam and, in fact, this gentleman named Oz. Well, look, it's it's not a uh, it's not a separation or a divorce because uh, I feel if I'm going to be uh, totally open and honest with you, I do feel somewhat of a responsibility for Liam's current mental uh, state. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to just uh, contribute in such a great degree to his distress and then just leave him out. Why? What did you bush. do? To, what did you do? What did you do to him? It's no single thing, but it is a cascade of events that that uh, seems to occur when we get together. That I can't help but um, push him in a direction that he doesn't want to go in. Mm. Mm. Should I write it, to him right now and, and ask him to come on? I mean, you know he's oh, no, watching. No. He's watching, right? Isn't I, he? I now? did. I, look, I sent him. I sent him the. Um, I sent him the link to to watch, but uh, he, he's he may be asleep. He may be asleep. It's what is this midnight there? So uh, he said he's he's having fun finally going to bed with his fiance. So I want to be Frank Sinatra, and I want to bring you two back together again. Mm. You know, see, that's what Frank Sinatra did in the seventies. He got you know Martin and Lewis back together again on stage, and it right. was very gay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, was it any good, or was it like it this was, mobster? This mobster has used his influence to get us back together, and now we're you know stuck performing like monkeys. Awkward, yeah, very awkward. Which is what I want it to be, you know, when this happens. Mm. Uh, so, together. so the actual plan, um, kidding aside, is that uh, when Liam comes back, his show is going to be more of a variety show. So we're going to be putting out a lot more entertainment. We've been, we've been putting putting the call out for um, musicians and actors and cosplayers and jugglers and mm. all the rest of it. And um, the worse they are, the better it is. And the better they think they are if they're really bad. And that's just the ultimate. And so that's going to be uh, our show with with Liam. Holy shit! That sounds great. No joke. Mm. That actually it's really... going to be it's going to be the best show on the internet. Whereas I will still and see see Liam has see, Liam has a, a number of very strong rules, Ethan. Mm-hmm. Mm. So uh, I what can't are help. They? What are his rules? You <sighs> can't just say that and just drop it. Oh, he has uh, a numerous ones. He has uh, an extensive uh, banning policy. Um, I noticed that uh, you 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 banned someone for the first time last night. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, he bans but, people on a as as a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, he I, rules with an iron fist. I, I don't blame him for doing that. You got to make your internet uh, situation comfy uh, for yourself. I don't usually ban people not off of uh, not off of YouTube. My moderators have in the past, uh, and I kind of say don't do that. Um, but yeah, for the first time, I, I I who did I ban last night? Was it? Oh, it was testify. I did end up. Yeah, I did end up any. Well, it doesn't matter because he's got 800 alts, you know. Uh, so he'll be back. Yeah, well, that that was my theory. <laughs> that was my, that was my theory with Sketch. I was like, you you can't you can't ban Sketch because um, a lot what? of people who sound like Sketch will suddenly show up and replace him, and you'll say, "What's gone wrong with society that everyone sounds like Sketch Therapy all of a sudden?" And you're like, "Maybe it's me." Uh, but no, there are, you know, Sketch actually, I, when I was, when I first spoke to Sketch Therapy, uh, he was quite open with the fact, and I reminded him of this like yesterday, I said, you know, you told me when we first met uh, that you got banned off of Collider, uh, the Collider website, and you made like 50 alts so that you could continue to bother the people at Collider. Uh, and yeah. he saw nothing, you know, nothing wrong with that. That was the way Sketch Therapy is, I guess. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he a, will be he's a unique, he's a unique butterfly. Ha, di, have you seen my, uh, my video of sketch? Um, no, no, 
would you like to see it? It's it's a little bit painful. It goes on for about five minutes. That's not too long. Let's see it. No? Okay. Yeah. All right. So just to, to put this in perspective um, for the audience, because there's probably heaps of people here that aren't aware, uh, Liam and Sketch were friends, and then uh, they had a big brouhaha on his channel. And then after that, uh, Liam was over on your channel, mm -hmm. and... Uh, because Liam had, had banned Sketch from the show after that argument, and he was over there. And then um, people were messaging me saying that um, Liam was a coward. So, <laughs> and privately, Liam was saying to me, I'm not ever having Sketch on ever again. I'm like, no worries. So I pop up in the chat, and I'm like, Liam, Liam. And, um, and then I think he had a call in as well. So I called in and, uh, and told him that I'd organized the next night's... Um, showdown between him and sketch oh shit mm. so they had that showdown um but what what liam didn't realize is that i hadn't i hadn't sent the link to sketch i hadn't actually organized this show i just told liam that i'd organized it so i <laughs> i didn't have sketches um uh, the chat have... is panicked, by the way. The chat's like, please, not this again. No, no, we got to see, you know, I'm sorry. I, I haven't seen it yet. So They, they know what's coming. That's the, Part of this build-up is part of the, the torture for the chat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, hadn't told, I hadn't told Liam that I hadn't told Sketch, uh, given him the link. And uh, Sketch is banned on, on Liam's chat, so he can't go into the chat and ask for the link. And meanwhile, Sketch is over on his channel and he's stream sniping Liam's channel and he's doing this wonderful monologue where he's screaming at Liam because Liam's on his, on his show live with Liam and he's yelling at Sketch for not being there. And like half an hour has gone past and Liam is just getting furious and furious that Sketch hasn't turned up. And he's saying things like, you effing made me wait up. I could be asleep. I hate doing YouTube. <laughs> it's like, I think it went on for about 90 minutes. Then I was like, oh, okay, like he's really going to blow a fuse. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll post the link. And then, um, so Sketch comes on, they have an argument, and then you you pop in and, and, and Sketch sort of leaves. But what, what I didn't realize at the time is that while all the time that Sketch was in the waiting room, and you guys, and we're all talking, he was typing in the uh, the private chat. Mm. And he was streaming that private chat onto his channel. <laughs> and <laughs> and he was yelling in the, in, in the, it was just, it's glorious. So that is the background to this. And so we get to see uh, the mind of sketch. All right. All right. Let's just share screen. Share audio. Uh, and hail sketch. chat. I love you all. I think I'm, it's about like uh, 60, 40 against me in the chat, but it doesn't matter. I love you guys. That's, that's uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be like 70, 30, but you know. God damn it. Let me in. I want to fix this divide. I only need two minutes. Bring me on. This is all bad for business. Liar, bring me on. Bring me on, liar. Let me help clear this all up. I only had two coins to make you turned on me. I only had two coins you turned on me in front of all your fans and then again in front of 1,700 of others. And now you lie about how I said have it out in the open. I have video that shows your words are lies. I said I liked it in the open no show is some ball for you to control through group pressure and every time you talk of this you skip that and call me a crazy bet you coward I only had two points I will keep making them and dragging me through the mud and calling me crazy for having two points to make is dirty Liam Bizak Geo. 
I had two coins instead of hearing me. You blasted me on your show, then blasted me on Caesar's show by calling me crazy and ignoring my two coins. You are not a pro, you are here to sow division. You are either the enemy or a tool of the enemy. If you are not the enemy, stop the <laughs> No! What people expose, go fire, not you, bitch. Richard C. Meyer, go ahead, tell him who exposed the people who stole your face oh. with me early. Oh, he discovered all these ops. Let's see them, our hero. Let's see all these ops. God, the music the makes it even worse. Because it's not me, you are just doing what you accuse me of doing. What you are doing to me, I'm showing life. Keep lying on air about me being that you boys that keep lying. I tried, <laughs> but you wouldn't listen. You put me on blast and told everyone. You are on my live stream, I'm not by myself, everyone on my stream is watching. Caesar in live streaming this, he accuses me of things over and over, he's lying. Read everything back here, credit all, I'm not lying. I'm showing everything he is doing and I'm not talking to myself, he is lying. I don't give a fuck if he's good at it, I don't have to like it, I had two points instead of listening, he blocked me, then puts me on blast and called me insane for my two points, like Marvel would do, like DC would do. Because oh. he's an idiot, I usually issue truce if I see no malice, but he doubled and trickled down against me, so fuck him. He does have tiny balls, I'm not done with it. Because I'll only get angrier and stronger, that's why. Debates for face <laughs> me to the debate. <laughs> Jesus here. Christ! I do a lot of deep dives, this is true. I don't care how irresponsible you are, I can speak of it in my platform. There is no peace while you continue to slam me, I do not retract a single thing, I don't trust you based on how you treated my concern and dismissed me in front of thousands because of my brain injury. Caesar is here, he can read me, ask him if he will even try to stop me, Lou. They aren't telling you, they'll tell me anything, they're telling you don't fuck with sketch. I'm oh. not having fun with seven elevated war This is still sketch so talking to, to himself. In the and yep. In my face to hundreds of things. Don't you listen? He has an injured that fuck you, Liam. You wrong, and you know I went to you first, and you couldn't even look at your chat, but you're so concerned for the customers and it really I, I don't trust you because of how you treated me over and over, and that won't change till you do. My injury doesn't make my words evil or lies. I'm not having fun with you, Mr. Creator, and your little friends muting me over and over. Well, you can't even look at the customers in the chat, and now you begrudge me warning you. Sketch, you're typing to nobody. And were we friends, bitch? What betrayal? Well, I mean, I guess He's now people are here. Boy, I'm brain damaged. That's all the MPs that Geo says over and over. I doubt that as much as I doubt the harmless injury you showed on Twitter. Lots of blood on your forehead. No cut, though, isn't that odd? And I don't write and your BS blood on forehead stunt trumps the military record I sent Caesar. Oh yes, Caesar knows in an actual injured vet and I made videos to show my face is the one on the military as I don't know about your fake Twitter forehead injuries bitch I am everything I say I am. Needs the research now for Australian what now? There is no professional courtesy in slamming me publicly for bringing to you the issues your mods hid. You understand that Caesar is right here, he will tell you himself he's not gonna stop me, Mr. Professional. The light is the truth. Is it almost the over? About how I tried to approach you and was blocked by your no. army, then bash no. going around it makes you a disingenuous prick with a feed loop barrier in your mods. Your mod army ignores my points and spams me about my injury when I throw around your mod army to get to you. You put me on blast, then you did it in front of 1,700. My points will only get clearer and I'm not stopping. You are a cunt that sucks mod cock, same as all the war-seeking elevated salad tossers who infiltrated war campaign. Tell me, pan all your mods spam all the time. Why are my own words on your able? We can all see it. Do you believe me, evil? Why are you tossing the salad of every mercer who infiltrates <sighs> to see you later? Is it done? Is it done? It is done. God damn it! That's a lot. He has he has a lot to say. Um, you know, I I sketch is someone who you just gotta you kind of gotta go. It's okay, man. Everything's okay. Because uh, I'll get messages like that from him too in in DMs. I like Sketch, but man, Sketch gets up a a head of steam, and he's got to tell you all this shit that means absolutely nothing to you. Uh, mm -hmm. and he's got to tell it all. I can't read it. You know, uh, I've gotten super chats recently that describe like war campaign drama, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I've had to read them slowly and aloud uh, a few times to understand what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, and sketch therapy will fill my DMs uh, with stuff <laughs> very similar, but I don't take the time. I was on a, I, on a live stream. I will take the time to dissect a super chat telling me about war campaign drama. 
Uh, but uh, in private, I have no such uh, obligation to anyone, Oz, you know, so mm. I ignore it. Mm. I think it's an extraordinary uh, voyage into the mind of someone like Sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes he can... Sometimes he can be very uh, rational and convincing. I, I think I, I think Sketch is usually correct about things. I think Sketch uh, is Scooby Doo uh, of the internet. Uh, well, that that's one of the amusing things, and that's why it's so important to have a free Sketch roaming around because he is generally correct. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's part of the charm. It's it's. <laughs> <laughs> but he's correct about things that I don't care about, and that's well. That's yeah, the I mean, thing, it's not you know? important things, but yeah, um, you know, you don't want you don't want to take everything for granted. Everything that he says. No, I won't. Mm. You know, I mm. don't. I, I don't want to take it at all. I, I don't. Mm. But you know, he. Uh, I love Liam's overreaction to him. I, I saw that. I thought that was great. Uh, you know, Liam just does not want a humor sketch. Uh, I saw him with his face on fire in a Deadwood Dale video, uh, screaming at the top of his lungs at sketch. And that was great. I mean, that's great. I mean, that's art. That's actual art that's being made uh, mm. in Comic Skate. So I have to it's, all, it's it. all art, Ethan. It is all art. I think and, so. And uh, it's the power of art. It's the, the power of the creative spirit within you that protects you from these evil forces. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Testify HD, if you're in the chat, you're supposed to have a competing stream at this time. Yeah, I saw him say that. How, I, I, how much? How much did you get up to? Sorry, Ethan. How much did you did you watch up to of, of last night's stream? I watched it all, and I, you know, uh, I he he kept saying, "When you're going to stream, I'm going to launch a stream one minute before you." And I said, "How how would you know?" fucking how would you know how to do that what if he launches a surprise stream how would you would you go back in time uh, one minute and start your stream uh, it just mm. seemed like a flawed plan it seemed like a threat that's that was kind of hollow uh mm. and uh not not one for you to worry about because he couldn't possibly follow through on always being one minute ahead of you oz so i want to tell you don't worry about that okay Okay, you, you, you feel have, better. You feel you've better? calmed you've calmed me with, with in that regard. You you've made me feel better about the threat of uh, Testify ruining my my channel. Now, with of his course, competition. Yeah, if Testify were to get on a live stream uh, every single day uh, mm. and shadow you, mm -hmm, th mm -hmm. there's no doubt that he would absolutely blow you out of the water uh, in terms of entertainment value performance. Uh, and enter, you know, I mean, people would go over there to watch testify, uh, do whatever mm. testify does on this. I don't know what he does. Well, but, talk about Star Wars girl, probably. Uh, all right, I might go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Given the I, choice, I might. I made I made certain uh, not so veiled threats to my audience that if they went over there, I'd be quite disappointed in them. I saw that. I thought that was a, a really sincere moment, uh, you know, in your live stream. Uh, you just mm -hmm. said, look, I don't want you guys to go over there. I mean, he kept saying, one minute, one minute. He was like the kid uh, from Better Off Dead with his $2. He was like, one minute, one minute. Uh, and you just said, please don't go over there. I don't want to lose any of you. I want you guys mm. to watch my show. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was compelled. Uh, you know, well, I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here if I didn't enjoy people uh, joining in. Yeah, most certainly. And, and just so the chat knows, we are going to open it up because uh, Ethan does want to uh, chat to you. But we're just going to chat a little bit more about what Ethan's up to. Um, and maybe I, I just wanted to show Ethan one thing, one scene from um, last night's stream and get his opinion on it. Okay. I can't wait. Let's see it. Mm, all right. Let's see if I've got the right one. Oh, shit. Do you think it was smart I reckon, that you, you, you know think what I reckon? Do you think it was smart? Do you think it was smart 
Liam <laughs> said pretty well. F Zach. <laughs> Do you think it was a smart idea for him to say F Zach? <laughs> I don't think that. that no, uh, I, I, I would say that that might have that might have crossed a little bit of a line. No, no, don't answer that. it for him. Ask him. I'm asking him. Do you think it was smart for him to say "fuck Zach"? Do I think it was smart? Is that? Ooh, that's, 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 that's a, a, that's that's a very answer, interesting guys. question. <laughs> question. Do I think it was smart. Um. Hail Felix. Good to see you, buddy. I'm not wow. sure, but you know what? You know what I wouldn't do. I would never want to change Liam. So I would never want to douse his passion. You okay. already so have called him a liar earlier. Okay, testify. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's you know, this is what he wants you to do. He's avoiding the question. Do you I know, think just... it was smart to say "fuck Zach"? One of the worst things about Testify wise. HD, one of the worst things uh, is that he has, uh, you know, he's got a two digit IQ. Uh, <laughs> and he talks to people who are clearly far more intelligent than he is. Now, I'm not. I have, like, listen, I, I have a one digit IQ. Uh, but you're clearly smarter than uh, Testify HD is. Uh, and he wants to go over it with you over and over again and try to bully you into answering a stupid, uh, you know, a uh, question that has a yes or no answer, and he'll he'll slow it down for you. Answer my question. <laughs> Do I you love... think? And he, you're like you're talking. You're I mean you know you're talking to me like I'm really really dumb, and I'm clearly very intelligent. Could you please uh, give me the oh. dignity of of speaking to me like an adult with a brain? No. Uh, Testify <laughs> HD is going to talk to you like you uh, you know are a five year old. Uh, it is really, uh, it's it's extraordinarily frustrating watching or interacting with this guy. I chose not to <laughs> last night. I chose to kind of put him in a box uh, so that I could actually say what I had to say. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's, I mean, this entire stream, uh, which I couldn't stop watching. It's six hours of, uh, of torture uh, with this guy. I don't know how you did it. I had to applaud you in the comments. I'm a man of uh, patience. Ex extraordinary patience. Uh, you mm. you should apply for sainthood. All right, go ahead. I'm <laughs> sorry. You keep playing the video. I don't think it it will affect his business. No. Do you think it was wise? Well, see, you're asking me for a subjective. Uh... No, I asked you. Do you think it was wise? <laughs> this is what we're talking about. Well, no, it, it, is it is subjective, but it, it's your it's your perspective. I think. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I mean, you're trying you see to what I was, a what little I was nuance. To put up with. Yeah, just, you go. You go. Wait, let me let me just answer your question, your stupid question, uh, with a little bit of nuance for the fact that I I have respect for my audience uh, and I want to give them something to chew on. No, answer the question. Was it smart? Yes or no? Uh, what had happened also just prior to this? Um, he uh, he'd raise rage quit the uh, the channel. He'd ra rage quit the show, and um, he came back another hour later, and he was still angry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, yeah. <laughs> and so this is just after. So he's angrily asked, demanding this yes or no answer. And why does he um, care? I don't understand why he cares. If uh, like what what is it to him that Liam said "fuck you, Zach"? Like what does it mean to him? What does he care? Like, how, uh, who, is he like a big booster of Zach's or just he's particularly angry with uh, Liam or what is it? That's, you shouldn't really be going down the, uh, the why in that regard. We, I, I couldn't get a straight answer out of him as to, as to why he was even retweeting memes. See, I couldn't get that straight answer. So delving any deeper into his motivations is uh, not productive really. Oh, okay. Let's not bother then. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's a fair. And this is what we're talking about. This has been the whole your five hours. Mm -hmm. But this isn't a, this. I will answer. But this isn't about me. I, I, answer it, Liam. Ask it, Liam Oz. Whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> Do you think it's a wise thing? <laughs> You're the same person. Uh, there's there's two rules. 
that I had here. Wow. You can't okay, do man, it. It's a yes or no question. No, 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 really, no. It, I have broken it down so easy do you for want, you. Do you want me to answer you properly? Can you answer yes or no? Okay. No, say, because I'm going to give you a problem. Because you're full of shit. Let him yes answer. Yes or no. Okay, let's hear his answer. You see what I had to put up with? They're trying to corral you into like... <laughs> Now, yes just keep or in, no. Keep in mind, everyone, this is five hours and 12 minutes that I have been putting up with this exact scenario. <laughs> <laughs> this is no different to the last five hours that had, had just happened. So it is amazing. Is, it's amazing. Five hours. Yeah. Let's hear let, his let him long, answer. Let him answer. rated answer, but just know this, Oz, I'm going to come back to, do you think it was wise to say, fuck Zach? Mm -hmm. Let him answer how he wants, but Oz, make sure there's a yes or no in there. <laughs> like, let's try to meet on a happy middle here. <laughs> so. We'll see. You guys are too nice. That's the thing. Both of you guys are nice guys. Thanks. I'm so asking the, him a man. straight question. I'd like yeah, you yeah. to testify. Let, I don't just, care let, if you don't like me either. That's the thing. No, let, let, him, let him answer. Let him answer. Good. Let's hear it. You want me to answer? You're going to let me answer? <laughs> Answer I've been trying to answer question. for the last Do you five think minutes. it was smart for him to say fuck Zach? I have two rules that I may I may break in the future, but these are the two rules, and these are this is the advice that I give to anyone that asks this question. Okay. Never talk smack about Zach or Ethan. These are good rules. Why? Now, what? 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 I think Are you should never. Serious? Yeah, yeah. I Are think... you serious? I think. No, 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 no. Part... Let him, let him, let him hang himself, please. <laughs> he's <laughs> done it for five hours. He doesn't realize he's done it yet. That's uh, the best part right now. They're outraged okay. because, right? Talking you smack don't... about the founders, essentially, of like big CG, like like the oh, the uh, core. Group, Nandito, right? mute, you just, mute. I think Nandito, mute. You don't want me to stop. You don't want me to answer. Like, <laughs> let him, please, do you want let an him, answer? Let him answer. I, I... Wow. Do you think it's interesting, uh, this reaction from these uh, three people? Well, I think it's interesting because, you know, you didn't say never criticize Ethan or Zach. See, that, that mm -hmm. would be different. Like, if you said that, that should engender that kind of a reaction. You said don't talk smack about them. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is which means do not disrespect them uh, in a way that's egregious, right? I mean that's kind of uh, what that implies. And they still reacted uh, with like, "What? How could you say that? You know, how mm. dare you uh, ask us to be gentlemen with manners and respect uh, for people who are actually helping our cause, who who work tirelessly for uh, this thing that we profess to believe in? That's an outrage." Uh, did they hear did. you wrong, or or what do you think? Do you think they heard you say "don't disrespect"? Do you think they said "don't criticize"? Or no, no, because I I clarified it just after this. We'll get to it where I clarify it. But I just thought the reaction was very telling. That as soon as I said "don't talk smack about you and Zach," their mouths dropped to the floor like that was uh, somehow that narrative means that uh, I'm going to be cancelled. It's a, it's a very interesting like bow to be drawn there. Do you feel do you feel like you're going to be canceled now? Mm. We we live in a, a culture of of possible cancellation, but uh, I have to admit, Ethan, that I do have um, somewhat of a trump card in that, and that is uh, mm -hmm. being artistically gifted. Being artistically gifted, yeah. Mm. I saw your video game, which I thought was really good. I didn't understand why it was met with such ridicule. Uh, it was a very harsh response. I, I, I and and he uh, he kept. I'm going to do a video. I've got to do a video as well where I I take some uh, snippets from that stream. He got in, increasingly angry the more I played the video game. <laughs> 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 until he said that he was going to leave this he gave me a 10 second countdown that he was going to leave the stream if i if i didn't stop playing the game wow mm. yeah i could so, you show people the game i mean do you have it up or or is it is it going to be hard to show you could just run uh, the video and show yeah, it yeah yeah 
Because, I mean, I it, you, you took your character, which is a vagina clam, uh, and you made a, I don't know, like an open world game full of other vagina clams. Mm. I couldn't it's, do that. Uh, it, it, it's the beginning. I'm making, uh, a, a, I'm calling it CG Racer. So it's, it's a racing game uh, for CG characters. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I'm building it up and it's going to be... Uh, you know, cyber frog car, and um, I've actually got this really great big cyber frog uh, 3D model that's sitting in the middle of the city, but I haven't shown it yet. Can I so, see it or no? I want to see. No, you have to wait for everybody else. Fuck. Hmm. Sorry. All right, we'll show the show I, your I video. Actually okay, I actually want to hear what he has to say. Yeah. Let him, let him say. Okay. So I think that they have built up enough goodwill. And I think that they have, um, they are so essential to the CG movement that I, my advice to any creator, and this isn't an advice to fans, this is just an advice to creator, because I'm a creator, I'm talking about Liam as a creator. My advice is you do not talk smack about those two creators because they are founding members. They have a lot of respect from many thousands of people. Well, wow. right now, that does not mean that you can't question them as a creator and say, why are you in, uh, employing an anti-CG or something? Or Never why are you it. getting involved with Dynamite or whatever? You can ask those questions, but frame it in a conversational way, frame it with respect. And when you deal with Ethan, when you deal with Zach, be respectful. If they come on your show, it's a real bonus for your show. They don't have to come on your show. If they feel comfortable enough to come on your show, that is great, right? These are the two creators that I will, I advise other creators to simply be respectful of. Now, War Campaign has been unable to do that. And I was shocked, personally, that War Campaign was unable to respect, uh, respect Ethan. That was my big, big uh, shock. Yeah, they, they respected were... Zach still at the same time. Well, yeah. Well, that, that well I don't really you. care about. No, no, wait. I know. Exactly. Let me have this with him. I'm, I'm just, I'm letting him hang himself because the thing is this: was it smart for Liam to say, <laughs> "Fuck Zach"? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I give a five-minute detailed, like, you know, uh philosophical answer and guidance <laughs> to these three nimrods right oh. and, and it just comes back to this ridiculous yes or no answer it's save like, your breath yes yes i see what you have said there but is it yes or no i mean unreal mm. it's amazing amazing and i uh i timed your because I, I saw that you uh you got a little bit inspired by, by that video and so you wanted to have have some people on to to ask you some tough questions and I saw you had um, testify come on but um, I, t I timed how long your patience lasted yeah uh, not how, long. how long do you think it was not long well first of all uh, one of the things that annoyed me was I felt ambushed by him because you know he would have been welcome to come on if he came on as testify uh, HD and I saw him coming. Uh, oh. But he, you know, I was like, oh, it's Star Wars, oh, Star Wars guy, what the fuck? Uh, and he's, you know, he's on the show. Uh, so mm. I felt like uh, annoyed by that. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've spoken to him before and I've always found it uh, difficult to, to speak with him because he's incredibly hostile uh, and um, aggravating uh, and stupid. And, and all of those things make it very difficult to have a conversation with him. Um, and, and I wouldn't mind, I, you know, my, you know, people who don't like me I and mean, they're going to open up the chat here and, and let some, uh, war campaigners who are upset with me come in. I'd like to listen. Um, but with that comes, uh, you know, somebody else listening too, uh, and the other person, you know, we kind of exchange ideas and not have some idiot, uh, jackass yelling over you, uh, and saying, did I say that? Did I say that? Did I say that? Did I say that? Uh, like some weird autist, uh, when you're sitting there trying to express a slightly more complicated thought to him than yes or no. 
Um, and that's why I find uh, that particular individual absolutely, uh, you know, not worth talking to. Uh, but anyone else, uh, come on in. And, and you know, I, I, I watched a couple of your streams and I saw uh, some war campaigners complaining. Uh, right. And uh, was quite interested in uh, in answering those things because, you know, I open up my stream every now and then for people to come in and talk to me. And you know what always happens? Uh, people come in and plug their products and say how wonderful you are. That's right. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's great. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking mm -hmm. for the people who come on your show uh, when mm -hmm. they think that I'm not watching uh, mm -hmm. and have a lot to say. Uh, and say some strange things because I, I would like to answer those strange things. Uh, and I, I, I feel like conspiracies grow that way. Misunderstandings grow. Uh, and uh, I, I, have a, I have a good ear for real criticism and, and uh, want to listen uh, to people who actually have something, um, you know, important and valuable to say to me. Uh, mm -hmm. But people like, you know, that guy can go fuck himself. I mean, that, that guy's a lunatic. Uh, but, uh, you know. I think it's I think it's a good idea for uh, the things that the people who say these things, uh, the, the people who say these things say, we want to talk, we want to be heard, we want to, you know, uh, he should listen to criticism. Well, I don't hear the criticism. Uh, I hear, fuck you, EBS, from Delta Spurg, who, by the way, Delta Spurg, uh, you have not identified one item of my clothing uh, in the past three months. So fuck you. Uh, that was your whole mission. Uh, you have failed, and I know, and you failed the last three times you tried. Uh, so, uh, in any case, yeah, come on in here and talk to me and tell me what's up. I have to say that uh, one of the fascinating things about you, uh, Ethan, is the number of 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 conspiracies and really out there conspiracies about your behavior um, while you're not making comics. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It, the 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 shit that gets put around to what you're doing <laughs> is yeah I, I I don't know anyone that could have enough time to um, have as many alts as you do. I have zero. Oh, I have one alt. I and I will tell you. I I've shown it before. I have one alt, and it's Skyver Ethan, uh, and I used it to uh, to yell at Tim Doyle and Renfamous last year and I haven't used it again and I see people saying uh, that I am full Yakuza Ronin uh, I am not in fact I quite embarrassingly uh, DM'd full Yakuza Ronin and said you're Mr. Dongs right uh, and she said how dare you <laughs> to me uh, and uh, you know obviously uh, somebody from Kiwi Farms uh, but not Mr. Uh, Mr. Dongs so I was sad about that I thought it was Mr. Dongs uh, and then there's this Dispotilus character uh, who used to be called Uncle uh, Ihi uh, and why why would I do this uh, why would I why would I do this why would I adopt alts that were so very very close uh, to characters that I created that were formerly named after things that were directly related to me if I wanted to um, attack war campaign uh, if I wanted to bother people uh, and not use my real name why would I why would I be so obvious uh, and I can I can prove Oz uh, that these people are not me how can you possibly prove such a thing because I can show you the DMs that I've had with them or received from them. That that doesn't prove anything, Ethan. You could have sent those DMs to yourself. I think if you see them, <laughs> you will change your mind. <laughs> because Despotless in particular, uh, I never responded to him. Uh, he sent me he sent me a list of uh, why would I do this? He took a photograph of uh, everybody who was in the war campaign discord. Uh, it says bathhouse being recorded. Uh, and there is a list of names. And he wrote to me, and this was just Thursday. He said, George is pretty openly sucking on the teat of war campaign, but Micah tries to be slick and pretend he is fence sitting. Shaking my head. Oh, well, back to memeing the memers. Uh, so uh, that would be, you know, that would be weird. Uh, for me to send to myself, uh, and uh, I could go and show the uh, interaction in which I accused uh, poor Yakuza of being Mr. Dongs, 
And I actually, I will not show it. I will read it because I think we have uh, something against showing DMs. We don't, we don't show DMs, uh, except in rare occasions in which uh, you do not respond to DMs and you receive DMs and you consider them to be harassing. So I said, uh, holy shit. Uh, and full Yakuza, Yakuza Ronin uh, wrote back a big smiley face looking sideways and smirking. And I said, write my dialogue for the rest of my life. Uh, and uh, she responded with a fiery avatar, and she said, I draw from my muse. And I said, are you a Mr. Dong's, wait, are you and Mr. Dong's one and the same? And she responded, no way. Now you insult me? And then a crying with laughter emoji. Uh, and then uh, sent me another one of her uh, responses to uh, the war dong and said, you may have missed this one, devil horns. Uh, so there you go. That's my interaction with these people. But yeah, I mean, Full Yakuza Ronin is so goddamn brilliant and so smart. I just said, please, from now on, I, I need a dialogue coach. Uh, you write all my stuff from here on out. I need Bro. you. <laughs> that would be interesting. Sorry, you? Mr. Dongs. Sorry. Mm. All right, we've got... All right, everyone. Prepare yourselves. We've got George coming on, and he's going uh, to unveil wise old man wisdom upon us which is going to make zero sense can't wait greetings George. greetings hi George. Uh, uh, hail ethan a caesar of Comscape. hail oz i had a tremendous time yesterday i'm sad that my wife um put me in the doghouse at the end did you see that ethan uh did, did you did you miss that bit it was it was it was very quick um George was yelling at me, and then his wife not, came uh, and came and busted him streaming. Oh, and, I did and... see that. And, and <laughs> by the way, <laughs> I was behind a little bit, and I I heard George's voice, and I went, "Is is George uh uh Mike uh Mike Oxmall, whatever Mike his name Oxmall. is? Yeah, is that George? Because George sounds a lot like him. And then I I missed the fact that you know his identity was revealed in the prior stream so and no 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 I, I don't i don't sit behind uh avatars or what you call it, aliases uh, but uh I, I was it was a great stream yesterday i had a lot of fun um i was red-faced laughing it, it was a tremendous tremendous happy time um it i just want to tell you that i put it in chats i just want to tell you in person terrific time absolutely terrific thank you very much george Maybe next time you come on, you can be nicer. What? Uh, if, if you didn't, uh, what? How, how nice can I be? <laughs> I went back in time. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh! Okay. Um, ne next either. next time you're there talking with a, a clearly psychotic, crazy person, maybe you could not agree with him. So, um, you know. Oh, that that was that was the fun of the satire moment. Um, mm. Ethan, I'm um, excited about the Cyberfrog toys that you're uh, that you're making. I really am. Yeah, because uh, you're a toy maker yourself, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. Yes, I am, sir. I, I make my own stuff with my 3D printers, and uh, it, I have to tell you that the the one the one thing that I'm really excited about, um, while I'm not backing your project until uh, you have three books to pr uh, to put together, it's not that I'm not excited about each of your projects. Mm -hmm. It's just that I really like to have something meeting in my hands with a, a uh, on a one-time purchase, and every and everything I've seen so far, it's terrific, absolutely terrific. Oh, thanks. Uh, wait, wait uh, until the fourth book, then you might as well just wait until the fourth book. <laughs> no, well, um, I'm gonna uh, a fourth book. Sure. Is it, is it uh, though? The one question I have is: Is it the how many how many books have you mapped out? Uh, I mean, is it going to be an ongoing world? I uh, forget about having other creators to continue the world. Your work, it's uh, as an example, like John Byrne, his run on X Men. You know, that's that's my that's my volume right there. And what is your run on Cyberfrog? Is it five books, and then you're going to open it up to other creators? Uh, I had a dream that I I I made twenty Cyberfrog books. That, that were 48 pages each. That was my dream that I had. I woke up and said, yeah, I'd be happy with that. Uh, so um, I have mapped out the first five issues. Uh, and I just I just finished mapping out issue five last week. 
Um, so um, that's that's that. But but the first four issues I'm calling Cyber Frog Season One, and I'm gonna package them all together. Uh, and then you know, Season Two starts with uh, Issue Five. It's called the Pollen Kingdom, and right, right. Uh, yeah, we we just go from there. But I I, I don't ever want to stop. You know, I, I I really enjoy drawing Cyber Frog. I want to draw it at my own pace. I don't want to be rushed like I was at DC. It's not important to me that the book comes out monthly or bi-monthly. I, I think annually or semi-annually uh, is is good enough for me. Um, but uh, it is it is going to be what I consider to be my life's work. And at the age of forty-five, uh, you know, it's like you start going, all right. Well, what do you own? What are you leaving behind? Uh, and this is, uh, you know, that's cyber frog to me. But I would say if you're going to wait, you might as well wait for the you know all four issues. And uh, feel free to snatch up a toy though. Well, I, I am I am going to be doing that uh, when they become individually available. Uh, I uh, the two hundred dollar box is it's not, it's not my thing, but it is a wonderful concept. Um, I, I the, the next question I have is what re what really worries me is that creators would actually have something like you just said, you know, a, a, a large run and mapped out and stuff like that, and they won't be able to get to it, and that and that really. That really makes me sad because there's a lot of creators out there who have uh, passed away and they couldn't finish uh, the, the work that they have put together. I mean, there, there, there's a great immense talent that just disappeared uh, out of out of our out of our life. And, um, you know, uh, 40 years of work producing one book a year. That's that's a long time, sir. Sure, I I'll, I expect to be working on Cyberfrog then until I'm 65. And so how, how many how many <laughs> issues how many issues do you think that is, Ethan? I I'm hoping 20. I mean that's that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to do 20 big Cyberfrog books. Okay. Um, well, George, wh why don't you just wait? Like you to, to get a discount on shipping. Why don't you just wait till about the tw the 20 issue? Uh, if, if, he, I, 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 if Ethan that, that, dies that, that, beforehand, I, I understand that you you might miss out on a few books if, if he dies and doesn't fulfill his 20th That'll be issue. a bummer. Yeah, I'll feel bad about that. You know? Yeah. Well, uh, having a, having an, in, an incomplete volume is, is always um, a sad thing to see on my bookcase. Well, and I hope I don't really... die, George. I mean, you know, I oh, hope no, you no, don't no. die either, right? <laughs> You know, no, sir. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even suggesting about death. I'm just uh, after a very long run on something, um, however great it is. Uh, there, there's the the concern that you know you become a little tired of it and, and slow down. I don't. I don't. I don't say that your art or your or your work itself in, in whole is going to be diminished. It's just there's there's a lot of life between now and 60 years old. It, uh, George, a, a barrier that would get George, in the way. Yes, George, this is sorry. Depressing. You're really, you're really uh, entertaining, but I've just got to cut you off just for a sec. Uh, your boy Zach sure. wants to come on and, and, and oh, talk yeah, yeah, to yeah. everybody. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Right. Uh, no, no, uh, right. you, you uh, stay here. You stay here. You can stay. I'll, I'll just bring on your boy Zach for everyone. Okay. Okay. Sure. Your boy Zach. Hi everyone. It's your boy Zach. And what's the deal with YouTube? <laughs> exactly exactly zach tell tell us what the deal is it's a way to take out that scrappy new breed even if they're just new to the industry not new to earth it hmm. i wouldn't like i wouldn't call myself a scrappy new breed though hmm. basically zero, zero. <laughs> So that, that that, it's all these kind of um, uh, people who want your spot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're making a lot of sense. Uh, she was defending the last one, but you know, it's you know still you know a, a girl dog, you know, a female versus a male, and the male's much stronger, and he just chewed the mama to pieces, and then the. Um, the puppy was like was howling but looked okay just a tiny little bit of blood wow zach's gone to some dark places on this stream yeah i mean out of uh apropos of nothing i guess 
Uh, even though there are people in the chat who are saying, watch Zach's video if you want to know what this is all really about. By the way, come on in here. You guys who, who have that attitude, come on in here and, and confront me with that attitude. Confront me with those ideas. I invite you to. I'm not going to yell. I'm not gonna... Make sure you still subscribe. <laughs> Stop that. Uh, I'm not going to yell. Come in here and talk to me about it. You know, they're like, Ethan's lying. Ethan is canceling. Come on in here and tell me that. I, I don't, you know, it's silly. What? How could you be afraid of me? After all we've meant to each other. They are generally uh, more than willing to come on and yell at me. Yeah, I, I, it's, this is what I, I don't understand. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it, do not is it let an, do not let Andino uh, Palacio in here. He's just going to be quiet. He won't talk. Oh no! If he wants to come in, I'll get him to talk. Come in, uh, Andino. Uh, he won't. Nah. He won't talk. That's his. He'll, whole thing. he'll talk to me. He'll talk to me. All right. Let's see. All right, so George, have you got any other great pearls of wisdom that you want to share with um, EBS? Uh, no, no wisdom. Uh, it was just questions. Oh, go Thank on. Uh, any more? No, that was it. Uh, no, that, that was it. Uh, the, toy, the toys were uh, of great interest to me. Great interest. Mm. Okay. Thanks, George. I, Thanks, George. George. I'll try. I will not die. I will not. <laughs> Promise. Again, I didn't, I didn't suggest death at all. It's just... I, I really enjoy having uh, one artist, one creator's works on my shelf, uh, however long. I mean, the, the time when John Byrne left, I think it was around 2.45 or, uh, of his Fantastic Four run, that really made me sad because he was one book away from completing his entire run and he just jumped ship, went to another uh, publisher and you had that uh, run co completed by somebody else. It it didn't it, it didn't make me it didn't make me happy. I mean, I have the uh, have the run of his Fantastic Four. It's just you know the ending kind of became like a uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 you, you understand what I'm saying? I know what you mean, but I, I don't think Cyber Frog is going to be something where other people are going to come in and fill in for me. I, I I will wear thicker glasses as I get older. I will I will wear arthritis gloves. <laughs> uh, I will draw. I will draw Cyberfrog because I like it. I really enjoy drawing Cyberfrog. I have a lot of story to tell, and I, I you know, uh, like I said, I want to leave behind. I, I look at the Cyberfrog books, and in fact, I'm trying to convince other comic skaters to look at what we're doing this way too. I mean, you know, it's a new way of of thinking about comic books, but you know, stop thinking of them as uh, monthly floppies that are disposable. Uh, start thinking of them. Um, as, uh, you know, the new Harry Potter book, uh, you know, so it's like JK Rowling, um, before she was canceled, uh, would put out these great, you know, she'd get everyone excited for the next edition of Harry Potter. Uh, and, uh, people were excited about it and it stayed on the shelves and it sold uh, a shitload. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do with Cyberfrog as well. Oh, we got well, it, would, it, it would it would seem that uh, the marketplace is actually forcing Marvel and DC to actually uh, water down uh, the number of books that they're putting out and uh, spreading it out further in uh, distribution uh, at times. Boring. Ah, well. Uh, oh my God! Yes, is this the real Mike Oxmo? <laughs> this is Mike Oxmo. Oh. There you go. There you go. We are not the same person. Uh, well, I, I figured that right, out already. I, I, I got to go. Hail, everybody. Hail, George. Goodbye. Spookier. Mm. You're spookier this time, Mike. Am I really? George doesn't like you, obviously, Mike. That's okay. Not many people do. Only my boyfriend, Larry, really does. Larry, so. yeah. The mm. firefighter. I, I think you've ruined your voice. You, you've lost your edge. Yeah, I don't. I don't like this. This isn't this isn't as good as the uh, the mic that I just got done listening I've been to. Working on the railroad. Oh, uh, hi. Oh, hi, Leo. Didn't expect to get in so quickly. Oh, people. Uh, Ethan has um, has scared all my guests away. So <laughs> uh, I guess I guess Ethan you get to come straight sort of dust out. What's up? Mm -hmm. Hi there, Uncle Uncle E. Hi, welcome, Leo. Read your damn super chats, man. 
Uh, oh, it's you. Oh, yeah. Well, I me. did, I did, but you'd already gone to bed, and so I, I did send no, you. No, I didn't go to bed. My phone died. Oh, okay. I, I sent you a message on uh, Twitter, yeah, right? Yeah, I did. I okay. saw it. I, 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 I didn't her phone, then. Ethan. <laughs> uh she warned also, me several times but i was uh what was i i don't know what i was doing but my I, you, you were busy you were busy with the um all this mouth yeah 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 so sorry about that little no, i don't worry about it campaign back but, uh great work thank you and all uh right. same goes to us awesome little. work man awesome work on what 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 do you like it tell me what you like about my stuff I mean, you're Got working on the Alpha Machina type, right? Sorry, say again. Didn't you work on the Alpha Machina type? No, no, that's the the magnificent Mister Odie. Odie, yeah. Ah, yeah. he oh. he's a he's a handsome young man that uh, hails <laughs> from the from Greek Greek Isles, and uh, guess he's... guess that's my mistake then. Yeah, I. EBS, don't you wish you could be uh, 19 again with all that hair and all that energy, all that uh, drive, that singular focus to, to draw six pages a day? Yeah, I do. I, I really do. It'd be great. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could go back in time and, and, uh, and, and be able to draw like I do now, uh, but be 19 years old and have my hair and be skinny. Mm. Damn it. Perfect. Really? Guess, guess I'm just glad I don't have testosterone problem. <laughs> How old are you, Lidl? <laughs> 27. Hmm. Okay. And where you got a bit of an accent. Where are you from? I am from a place called Swamp, Germany, a.k.a. the Netherlands. Right. And, and how is it in the Netherlands? What do you do? Are you on... Um, have you been furloughed or furloughed or have you yeah, uh, still I'm working? I'm actually an essential. <laughs> I'm a chemist. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. Like uh, an actual chemist? Yeah, an actual or chemist. An actual chemist. Awesome. EVS, it, it takes a, a lot of uh, qualification to become an actual chemist. Uh, I know. It took me a long time to get my meth lab up and uh, working. <laughs> but, uh... So uh, can I start calling you Heisenberg then? Yeah. Yeah, what's my name? Say my name. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going to keep calling you Uncle E. I prefer it. Thank you. So how did, how <laughs> did like you... we got more Dutch people in here. <laughs> how did you find uh, Comics Gate, what, what What's your connection I as a professional actually, chemist? Um, the thing is, I'm a long-time Green Lantern reader, so I kind of got in with even. <laughs> Right, cool. Like I started watching even back when he was still doing art videos, and 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 doing portfolio reviews. Yeah, it's funny. Cool. It's like uh, I I think most people now know me more as a YouTuber than a comic book artist, and uh, I I swear to God I don't know why more comic book artists don't just do a small YouTube show on the side, uh, and try to get more fans because you know uh, they're I there. Would. I would honestly love more uh, tutorial videos and more so on stuff like paneling and such. Yeah, like uh, a few people have asked me to do that. I, I, you know, I, I'm thinking about it. I, what I would do is if I were to do that again, I would do it within the context of, uh, hey, we're working on Cyberfrog 2 right now. So what lessons can I teach you from what I'm working on right now? Uh, otherwise, I just don't have t as much time anymore. Uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I you know, mean, I was, I was you've watching, got your, uh, your own life to deal with and such. I was watching David Finch's um, videos, mm -hmm. and uh, I watched a few of those um, as much as I could. But it is really hard to just sit there and watch people slowly draw. It's Ethan. excruciating. I don't. It's, I don't. Yeah. It's not good content um, at all. It's very boring. So you know what I would do is I would uh, I would speed it up. I would I would have to do things uh you know I, I don't know I'd have to speed up the drawing. If but. there's one more question I could ask you, uh, do you have any good material on how to get better on art? Like, is there any go-to uh, books or I mean, other I materials? I, I don't know if there are books. They're gonna. The, I mean, there are lots of books that are gonna help you. Uh, that'll teach you things. 
um, but it really is repetition and practice. It's uh, there's so much of it. Uh, so much of it is about being around other artists uh, and taking hints from them and, and taking lessons from them, uh, getting advice and getting uh, scrutiny. Uh, that's the best way to grow um, and grow quickly. Uh, and that's what I recommend. I mean, hang out with other artists, go to go to I don't know if there are any comic book conventions left, but, you know, go and, uh, and meet more uh, people. Not right now. No, unfortunately. And no. they're not really that big on this side of the pond anyways, so. Yeah. You should try and do some life drawing classes. That's my advice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you can, if you can find them, um, usually you can get together with, like, a group of other people other people than you know five or ten euros each you can um hire a model for an hour to to pose and do that thanks. once a week or so yeah thanks for the tip good luck little all right yeah catch thanks. you later little see ya where did where did mike cox mall uh, i go? kicked him because he was he was being annoying if he's I I annoying i, I didn't mean to i thought that. he left on his own yeah I, I was like you know why would he just sit around and okay uh, how you doing, Mike? <laughs> I'm doing great, Ethan. How are you? I'm um, really, really good, and and uh, enjoyed your two appearances that I could find uh, on on this show and with Liam. Like you versus Umbrella Guy was fun. I thought you were Preston too. Uh, and I'm then be Preston. yeah, no, no, I don't. I I know that you're not Preston now. Uh, and then I I really enjoyed your uh, very calm again. The the way you 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 talked to testify HD was. I tr I wanted to talk to him that way, but I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't find the patience to do that. All I could do was shout at him and put him away, uh, so I didn't have to listen to him while I was trying to say what I wanted to say. What did uh, you really want to say? Uh, I wanted to say to him um, that he's an imbecile, uh, and I, I think that he is uh, influencing other people. Uh, to be imbeciles too, uh, and, and something that I used to think was a pretty good uh, idea. Uh, I, I used to really like War Campaign. I thought they were a lot of fun. Uh, they added this kind of um, uh, troop mentality to Comicsgate with Hail This and uh, an identity that, that made it kind of fun, and, and it just turned sour. Uh, so, uh, and I, I think he had a lot to do with it. Not just him, there are others. Um, but uh, him in particular, I found him to be uh, particularly egregious, and I, I I I resent him for I resent him for that. So uh, I think I I yelled at him maybe too much. Do you think you will forgive War Campaign now? Uh, I think uh, War Campaign is. Here's the thing: I, I'll forgive individual members of War Campaign, but War Campaign as an idea is over. Uh, in my opinion, it's just over. It can't go back because. Uh, it's, uh, it's been so, the idea of it has been so poisoned, uh, that people would be afraid of it now. Uh, and people would resent it. Uh, people are already angry about war campaign and I just don't think it could ever be the way that, that it was. So I, I, you know, there are individuals within war campaign that I'm, I'm looking forward to forgiving and talking to, uh, others that I, I can't. Uh, we just have to go our separate way. Does that make sense, or is that like uh, unreasonable? No, oh, that makes perfect sense. It uh, war campaign. You call yourself war campaign. You made everything you do a conflict. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah, I, 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 I that's the thing. It's like I, I like, I liked war campaign. People are like you didn't speak up quickly enough about war campaign. No, I like them. Uh, I still think some of the stuff that they were doing before was funny, um, but I, they crossed the line, uh, and I felt it when they did it. I, I felt in my heart that they crossed the line, and I couldn't, I couldn't apologize for them anymore. Uh, and I had to, uh, and uh, you know, they like you could tell they crossed the line because John Malin and Cecil, who I know to be very steady uh, individuals, uh, who didn't do anything wrong, they didn't really hurt anyone. Uh, were furious and were spitting mad on my show, and I couldn't even conduct my show anymore uh, because they were so angry, and I saw what they were angry about. So, um, you know, that's that's kind of where I fall about that. And I, I know I'm, I lost a bunch of customers. I know I lost a bunch of fans over it. it. This wasn't fun. This wasn't something that I wanted to do at all. 
Uh, but I felt like I was kind of pushed into it. Do you feel like maybe it was too little too late for some of your customer base? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Because some people have said that once they got close to people who were making a lot of money, that's when you turned on them rather than a matter of principle. Well, wait a second. Explain that. I don't I don't know what that means. That it became the the 100K and up club. And it was Malin, Cecil, and Enna, who I believe is starting a Indiegogo soon of her own project. But I may be mistaken. Yeah, you're mistaken about that. Um, well, I mean, explain Mike S. Miller. Uh, because he was in the 100 and up club. Uh, you know, uh, well, who else? Explain Doug to Naples. Uh, explain, you know, any number of, in fact, most of war campaigns, uh, main targets over the last year were the bigger, uh, creators, uh, who had made a uh, hundred thousand dollars or more. Uh, it was in general, it, it always seemed to me to be, uh, an attitudinal problem, uh, with those people, with those individuals, you know, Edwin Boyette, Mike S. Miller, who seemed to me to be up to no good, Doug to who clearly was up to no good. Uh, when it came to Comicsgate. Uh, and those seem like uh, sad but fair targets to me. Uh, I did not think that Anna was a fair target. And the problem with it was, what was so frustrating was, uh, you know, the, the idea that, you know, when you're defending what was clearly unfair, and I, 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 not only unfair, but the way they went after her was grotesque. Uh, you would be called a simp and a cuck and a, you know, all of these things that scared people away from doing what was right. But they've been uh, doing that for years before the rift between you two. Oh, uh, yeah. Tell me more about that. Well, they, you know, they, how many homosexual memes did they put Mike Miller and Edwin Boyette in? It's not new behavior. So oh, I, uh, I find they, it curious that now it's become an issue for you. I don't, I don't, I don't mind those. Uh, they're making memes of me right now. Uh, that I, it's okay. That's not the, the memes are not the problem. Uh, the memes were never the problem. They can make homosexual memes of all of us, uh, and they will. I mean, that's just, uh, their sense of humor. Uh, it was the fact that, uh, they got so very, very, very personal, uh, in a way that was in my, in my view, inhumane and inexcusable, uh, to, to dig into, uh, the psychic pain of uh, a young lady uh, and uh, and uh, piss all over it, uh, make light of it, uh, uh, twist a dagger uh, into that scar. Uh, and then when um, her friends came forward to say that wasn't right, uh, those people were dogpiled. Uh, I, that was the line for me. Uh, the, the gay memes, the dildo memes, uh, they can do those forever if they want to. I never had a problem with that stuff. So the only line was really Anna. The only li no, not Anna in particular. The only line was making fun of somebody's dead relatives, uh, taking a, a personal tragedy like that, uh, and uh, in I, well, I, I thought it was evil. Uh, and but if they had done that to you, uh, well, I, I, I assume they have. Well. Uh, I don't know. I have, don't have a Twitter. Well, I, I, I don't, you know, I, you know, listen, let's not talk about your secret identity, but I mean, uh, if they had made fun of somebody who was close to you, who had died, uh, I would find that to be intolerable. I, I can't, I can't be a part of that. I can't, I, you know, it, it, you know, part of the war campaign thing was uh, these silly memes with uh, rainbow dildos and miniature Mike S. Miller. Uh, they put me in makeup now and, and you know, all that's It's all funny. I mean, that's all okay. I, I can't get past that one thing. Well, they put Edwin Boyette in a I, I know, King for, KDI. For, for, for uh, Bukaki. They put Edwin Boyette in a Bukaki scene. Well, they, they did do that. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, one, of, uh, one of my critics uh, did the same thing with a picture of my wife. Uh, and, uh, I, I found that to be, uh, unacceptable. And the person who made that meme, uh, I actually criticized and said, knock that shit off. Uh, that's not okay. That's over the line. Uh, that individual is the same individual, uh, who is making these memes of Anna, uh, 
what, what did he do? Did he was that the guy who made the uh, Anna Anna's sister's ashes being snorted like cocaine? Was that uh, man of sex? It might have been man of sex. The individual I'm thinking of uh, is. Uh, Hold on a second. I'm trying to recall. It's a it's a it's a parody name. Fuck. I can't remember. But I I I did come down hard about that. I thought putting somebody's face on a uh, hardcore pornography, actual pornography, was just you know it was too much. Well, that's what they did to Boyette. Yeah, they. I saw them do that to him on one occasion. But I mean, here's the thing. I mean, the other thing is, uh, I you know I see what I see, and I miss an awful lot of stuff. Uh, I am not omnipresent on the internet, nor am I really the, you know, the police officer of the internet. It's not really my place to say. Uh, what I can do is I can excuse myself uh, from uh, people who do that kind of thing uh, and uh, and not associate with them. But as a matter of principle, the dividing line between you and war campaign now is the behavior. We're just having a disagreement about when it was appropriate to cut yourself off from them, which I think you made a good decision, by the way. But to be surprised that this is what it ended up as, I think is... I, I disagree with you about that. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised it ended up like this. Very disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad. I'm disappointed. I'm very surprised. I'm, I'm extra surprised that when I, I made it known that I was unhappy with it, they doubled down. And started, uh, you know, um, turning on me too, because after all, I, I spent many uh, a couple of years anyway being told that I had control over war campaign, uh, that I was telling them what to do, uh, that I was giving them orders, uh, and uh, that never seemed to actually work out. When I, whenever I ever said anything to uh, these guys and asked them to knock it off about anything, they never listened to me. Don't you feel your leadership could have prevented this? Clearly not. Mm. Disappointing. Mm. Hello, Pam. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, Oz. Thanks for having me on. Hey, Ethan. Yeah. So you're saying that I'm, I'm telling people to spam your chat with shit about my dead sister. What's that about, brother? I don't know. You got You got any me proof of that? You got any proof of that? Oh, settle down. Let me answer you. you no, I'm gonna it. tell you. You keep my sister's name out of your my your fucking mouth, or we're gonna have problems. You got me, buddy? Pan, I, I've never said anything about your sister. I, I don't Bro, know where. It's all over Twitter. Shut your fucking mouth, or we're gonna have problems. You fucking got me. You fucking got me, buddy. Pan, listen to me carefully. No, you listen to me. You keep my sister's this is name the same out your mouth or you're going to I don't I don't I don't even this. know your sister's name and I haven't yeah. said anything so about your shut sister. Up. So quit saying that I'm fucking spamming your chat with shit about my dead sister. Those are paid members of your fucking channel. Motherfucker, you want the proof? Fuck you. Was the, was this the uh, the kind of questions you were after um yeah, at the absolutely. beginning of the show, Evius? You better Absolutely. have some fucking proof when you run your mouth like that, dude. Pan, what what were what was the stuff that you were saying about you know you are are talking about my sister you're, and you're now gonna, you're gonna yeah. raise the dead? What was the what were the death threats that I was receiving yesterday? Death threats or no, what there, seemed there like no death, death threats. threats? No, you're gonna go into business with my sister if you keep fucking around with her name. What buddy. I'm sorry, wait, what does that mean? Uh, fuck around and find out. Oh, for fuck's sake, you think Despotilus is me, okay? Uh, I am not Despotilus, <laughs> no, I don't. Pan. I didn't say that, but I Pan, am holding Pan, that is not, no, you me. cannot hold me responsible for gay ops alts uh, that, really? that are pretending when to did, be me. When did you come out and, and say, oh my god, why did you guys dox war campaign? You shouldn't have done that. When the fuck did you say that? You on Kiwi that. Farms? You can't blame me for what goes on on Kiwi Farms. I don't do that. I have nothing to do with that. Right. Right. You have you're, an the account biggest, there. you're the biggest gay opera around, bro. We Pan, know your fucking game. Pan, I, I'm not a gay opera. Oh, you want us to prove it? Uh, Pan, I don't get involved in gay ops. All right. Drop the receipts. Yeah. It's about time. Drop receipts. I don't get involved in gay ops, Pan, and you know that. You know that mm -hmm. that's true. What is all this shit? 
Why is everyone getting doxxed and you're just sitting there? Oh, oh, oh. It's all about Anna while your fucking customers are getting doxxed, bro. Fucking bitch. You're a bitch. That's not fair, Pan. Pan, no, fair. The time. Pan you, you've got to prove that I'm doxing hey, my I'm customers. You, keep my uh, I have not doxed. Your mouth, Pan, I don't know your sister. Your I don't know who your sister is. You're threatening you me over your sister. I don't know who she is. You said I'm going to join her in business. I said, telling, what is this about? You're telling Charlie's London that I'm instructing people to Because there are ass. people in my chat now who are saying very strange things right directly after you said... Those are your that, fans, no, bro. That right after you said that you're going to raise the dead and march them upon me or some bullshit like that. Those are your What are you fans. doing, Pan? Pan, what are I'm you getting up to? I'm telling you. Pan, what are you getting up family? to to cover... What are you getting up to to cover for what you said about Anna? What are you getting up to? Whoa, 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 brother. I've never Don't said fuck anything. with me about this bullshit. I had nothing to do with doxing you. I don't talk about your shut sister. Your mouth for a minute, no, not. you shut the fuck up, Pan. When if, Fucking when retard. You don't sit hey, you hey, don't hey, come in here and start talking pussy. as though No, Pan, you don't come in here and start talking and making accusations like this. I'll you know they're not shit. true. I'll you know this shit. isn't true. Why are you lying to people? You know this bullshit isn't true. People You're have you biggest, on Twitter. People you have you on Twitter liar. talking about uh, death threats, making death threats to me about your sister. That's not to death cover for Anna. To cover for Anna. First off, it's not death threats. Second, I have they look like death threats to me. Anna. I you take them as death threats. Pussy? You telling me that I'm gonna go into business with your deceased sister? Yeah. What does that mean, Pan? You, you are. You At what on. point? When am I going into business with your deceased sister? Explain what that means to me right now. Okay. I will. You come in here and talk shit like this to me. You want me to explain it to you? Calm yeah, down, explain Pan. it. Explain it, Pan. Calm, calm down, fat boy. Pan, All I right. hear you put on a little weight yourself. Cubs. <laughs> we wouldn't know it. We don't get to see your face. Uh, faceless coward of the war campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what know, is? Uh, what do you mean by I'm going into business with your dead sister? You fucking weirdo. I'm what do you mean by that? To you. Okay. So what happened was um, show the these things. Are... Hold on a second, Oz. Shut let's up. find this bullshit. You shut the fuck up. Would you let me Sh fuck you, Oz? Show those tweets. Let me send these to you right Relax, now, you and you can fruit. no, you can make uh, you can make up your own your mind. Pussy? You gonna let me explain it, you fat pussy? No, because all your explanations are bullshit, Pan. You won't even let me. You guys explain. gaslight everybody while you mistreat no. uh, all of these people who meant well by you. You're we did well me. by you, Pan. Oh God, shut up! Would you let me? Comic Skate did right by War Campaign. We are did nice cry? to you. Are you I'm not cry? near crying, asshole. You sound like it. Would you let me talk for a minute? Okay. And if so it's really about your dead sister, why aren't you crying? Why are you coming in here so pissed off, making shit up about your sister and blaming me for it? Why aren't you crying, motherfucker? Anna's crying. You guys sit there and you make memes mocking her recent pain. Well, she's a girl, motherfucker. She's a girl. Hey, relax. That's who you guys are. You're somebody who make fun of the pain over the deceased relative of a 25-year-old girl. And you First come off, in I've here with balls, that. you come in here with balls and try to blame other people and try to gaslight everyone and pretend that you're the victim, victim campaign. You're going to let me fucking talk? Fuck you, Pan. Fuck you. Oh, you're going to cry? Pan, Are why aren't you cry? crying? Why aren't you crying over the behavior that you've displayed to very innocent people who what did you no wrong? What have I done? And what are you doing bringing up your sister? What, you've got to go a long way to blame me for the fact that you got you got doxxed on Kiwi Farms. I got doxxed on Kiwi Farms. Where were you guys then? Are you going to cry about it? No, you are. You're the one I in am. here crying about it and no, blaming me for... Oh, you doxxed my family. I had uh, nothing to do with up, that push. shit. Shut you up. shut up. You want me to explain? Okay, so what's going on? Is you tied Gat Hanzo... To a bunch of bullshit that didn't have anything to do with him. No, I didn't. I tied Rokabir Kumar to a bunch of bullshit that he had 100% to do with. Oh, what's he that? liked a bunch yeah. of memes that were attacking Anna's poor dead sister. And you've got the balls to come in here. You find the fucking balls to come in here and talk to me like this. You fucking redneck piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. 
Oh, fuck you, God. Pam. You fuck drive? you. Are you losing your mind? I think you're. I'm, I, dude, though. dude, it's about time somebody actually told you what was what, man. You're a bully. You're you're really? a rather unkind fellow. You well, are a see, bully, a and your victims. Your victims are 25-year-old girls who lost their sister How to a have tragedy. I victimized them? I have never and you're supporting them, and you're covering for the people supporting. who rub it. Yes, you are. You are covering for the people who rub that pain in. That Why, psychic Because I won't denounce wound. them? Because I won't denounce me? I think you should because fucking denounce them, Pan, like I've denounced me. you. I, I think you should denounce them. How do you I like won't that? Tell men what to do on the internet. You know, I you think you should people. tell some men. I think you should be a man and tell other men not to pick on twenty-five-year-old women. You stupid fuck. How do you know I haven't? I. You just said that you didn't. You're like, what am I? I I'm it, supposed to tell I people? Yes, you are. If you had an publicly. ounce of decency, Pan, you I would tell. Right. Do I sound like I'm gonna cry, motherfucker? Yeah. If you had an ounce of decency, you would tell your friends that what they're doing is wrong, but you How don't, do you know and I you happen? encourage them. How you encourage you know them to do this. How do you know I Why happen? are you in here? If you I had, you wouldn't be in here with the balls to tell me some bullshit about your sister. You know I didn't do anything to your sister. You know I'm not involved in gay ops. Shut the fuck up, Pan. Fuck you. are you gonna You're cry? way behind the fucking eight ball. You don't talk to me this way. And you know what? You, you do not talk. You? you do not talk to a 25-year-old girl the way that you're talking. Why don't you stand up? Are you a 25-year-old girl? Why don't you stand up? Are you a 25-year-old girl? No, Pan. I'm a 45-year-old man, and that's somebody who's old enough to recognize when other men are wrong about some shit. You are wrong. About you what? and your boys are wrong for what they're doing. Okay, and you know what? Listen. This is the consequence of all of that, Pan. This is the consequence. You are cut off. You are cut off at the fucking knees. Oh, you're you're coming in here crying out. about Gad Hanzo and Rokabir Kumar. You, you guys are cut off at the knees because you don't have an ounce of humanity or decency to actually realize that making fun of a girl who lost her fucking sister, I never made fun you don't of have any decency I at all. Never, and you ever. should. And you are somebody who should. Shut up, you fat fuck. You should. You're somebody who, in particular, you should have the decency, and you know it. And you couldn't I find it within Anna. yourself. You couldn't find it within yourself, could you? Are you going to cry? You couldn't find it within yourself. You, what, just somebody who cry? has that experience in your life, you couldn't stand up for someone else. You couldn't tell your friends that that was too far. I'm telling you that it's statement? too far. Pan, I'm telling you it's too far. I'm telling them it's I too far. Know. How do you know that I And now, know? you know who the victims are? Uh, the victims are Gat Hanzo. Gat Hanzo was a victim of this. Yeah, because you can't. He didn't do anything wrong. You, Gat didn't do anything you're fucking, wrong. You're fucking Mark Wade, bro. You are fucking Mark Wade. You want to cancel CG Project? Your fucking, fucking war Mark campaign, Wade. and you fucked you it up for good. It's over now, Pan. Pan, it's over. Pan. Pan, it's over. War campaign's over. You killed it. You killed it. You up. lost any decent fans and supporters you had left because hey, you I'd couldn't like stand you, up like and you, you, you couldn't tell them. You couldn't tell it. them that that was wrong. Why should I? Some pussy. What a bully you are. What a fucking bully you are, Pan. You sound what like a bully. fucking bully. You're just a fat piece of shit. What a fucking bully that you had to push your weight around all your gay ops, all your fucking evil, all and you had to ops. go and push it on some girl who just lost her sister. What did I and ever you pissed do off Anna? Malin and Cecil, I, oh, I pissed the nicest people and in the world. Oh, they're pussies. Jesus You're Christ. A pussy, oh, everyone's a, a pussy. Hey, everyone's dude, a pussy. I never did anything to Anna. Of course I feel for her. Are you kidding me? I fucking Then show it. Me. Then tell your boys to knock I'm it the fuck off. Anything, and what are you doing here telling me? What are you in here talking to me like this for? Why are you, what you are fucking you hillbilly? What are you in here talking to me like this you, for? You hillbilly. You what are you in here talking to me like you this for when I didn't do anything to you? I didn't do nothing to you, and you should be given this same speech to your boys, Pan. You and your boys, you should be giving this speech to them, and you're giving it to me. A Charlie's London thread telling lies, saying that I instructed people to put. Pan, what do you mean by all the shit you said about zombie sisters? What are you talking about? You're gonna march the dead on me? The fuck is the matter with you, you Looney Tunes? You want to shut up for a minute? Let me explain, you fat fuck.
Do you? You gonna shut up for a minute? Or are you gonna cry? Why don't you just talk now, Pan? Okay, good. You get it all out of your system, Ethan? Fucking pussy. All right. Fuck what it you, is. you fucking faggot. Shut up. Oh, Shut the fuck you know, up. Oh, Listen to you. Oh, you're a pussy. Oh, you Shut are up, a pussy. Just shut the fuck up you're a huge with your bullshit. Pussy. Shut the you fuck up with your bullshit, Pan. Fucking fake ass. Go ahead and say whatever Pan you want to say. But you know what, Pan? You know what? At the end of the day, when I saw a bunch of fucking bullies picking on a girl over the death of her sister, I cut off. I stood up for her. And I actually I pushed those friends aside. And I had to tell a bunch of people. I had to go through a bunch of grief over this shit. And I'm still going through this grief because of stuff that you did. And you didn't do that. You didn't do that, Pan. You couldn't Why find you, that within you're yourself. You're going through grief. You're going through grief. You're a no, I gotta go through grief with you guys. I gotta listen Man, to this. Uh, I gotta have you talking about your dead sister and how to keep your sister out of your mouth. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Sister, you sound mentally ill, dude. You sound like a lunatic. I don't you know what you're talking about. Mirror, I don't know what you're mirror. talking about. You but you're sending me weird, creepy shit. And frankly, people have had enough of it. You're Mark Wade, bro. People have no. No, I'm Ethan Van Skyver, no, the guy who beat Mark Wade. No, you're okay? Mark Wade. Okay, yes, now. I am. I'm I'm Ethan Van Skyver. You canceled. CD I am Project. Ethan Van Skyver. I didn't Mark cancel Wade. shit. You guys oh, did. Shit. You guys did. Your own oh, boys walked away a, from you. Pin it together. Tyler you walked away run. from you. Steve Dye walked away from you. A bunch of your artists walked away from you because of your behavior. Because you fucking scared the shit I didn't out of do people. anything. All I did was say I'm not going to be supporting. All I did was walk away too. I walked away too. You 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 call me a bully. You're the biggest bully in the game. I walked away too, and it's not game. my fault. It's not my the fault that when I walked away from you because of you picking on Anna's walked dead away. sister. Bro, I broke up with you on your own channel. You you did what? Fuck. You did I, what? You did I what? Broke up you with broke you up with me. Channel. What the fuck are Dog you talking about? You, you like lunatic! You broke up with me. I dumped you the like a girl. The fuck is the matter with you? What are you talking about? It's on YouTube. It's on your fucking channel. I told you, War Campaign was done with you. We didn't like your lies. We're done with you. And you can't shut up. And stop it. sending me tweets. Stop sending me tweets threatening me about your sister. I don't want to hear about it. I'm uh, telling yeah, you now, keep, keep stop doing it. I'm telling you, mother. Stop you. telling me to keep your sister out of my mouth when no, you are bitch. sending me tweets about your sister. I'm going to have to tell you, stop sending me tweets about your sister. I don't want to hear about it. People are in enough pain right now. Uh, over deceased relatives, I don't want to hear about it. So Look, stop doing it. I don't want to be involved in anything you tied, you're involved in. You tied Gats Project to some bullshit about it. No, you did. And no, you did. Up, no, I'm you did. You no, you did. No, it. you did. You put the war campaign symbol around poor Gats' neck and told him to be loyal. And you sunk him. Dummies. What, what, did, what did I ever say to Anna? That was, you that sunk was Gat Hanzo's entire I, career in I his life. I've always been supportive of Anna, and I don't think that you need to be saying shit that I... You're a liar, dude. I have never said anything to I, You know what? Anna. I don't even know. I can't even distinguish you anymore. Loyalty, loyalty, Find, loyalty. Where's the receipts? Where's the receipts, buddy? You got Pan? receipts on this? You're a fucking liar. Pan, you guys... You're poor Gat Blake. Hanzo. Poor Gat Hanzo was tied to you. Poor Gat Hanzo was tied to you. So, so and now that's it. Suffer because what? I'm not doing anything. You guys you're are. Bitch. You, you guys are. Your You're I'm not up. supporting your book, Pan. I'm sorry. I, I cannot find the time it's to promote. Then what are you worried about? I cannot find the time or energy to promote the book. I'm here to call you a Or the books uh, of people who are this horrible and inhumane to 25-year-old girls. I can't do I it. I haven't done anything to a 25-year-old girl. What have I ever done to Anna? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. You're mad because I wouldn't tell grown men what to do on the internet. You can fuck off. I'm not telling anyone what to do on the internet. How do you know? You I just told me to fuck to off. Yeah, Certainly, fuck you me. could find the energy to tell those guys to fuck off. How do you know I didn't? You just the scene uh, well, like you just man. said that you don't do that. You don't tell grown ups what to do on the internet. You told me to fuck off. How come you couldn't tell Man of Sex to fuck off? How come you, you couldn't tell Roe to fuck off? How do you know I didn't? Because tell you're still there, pal. You're still there. I don't there. do it publicly like you. I don't make a spectacle out of it because you're a fucking drama queen, bitch. 
Okay. You bitch, bitch, bitch. I do it behind the scenes like a man, motherfucker. People, people are angry about this. I'm not You're doing it bitch. behind the scenes. Uh, I'm here to talk to other people. You came in here to threaten here me to about your you sister. Mark, wait, I'm not threatening you. Quit crying yeah. like a baby. I'm not crying. <laughs> You're threatening me. You're threatening me. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your voice. You fucking got tears. I already mind. lost it. I already lost my voice yelling at you. You lost man. your mind too, bro. When, no, I'm, when you I'm fucking fine. quit CG, when you quit CG by canceling CG, motherfuckers, you quit, bitch. I think War Campaign canceled themselves. Shut up, Will Yeah, User One. Oh, you're already. Shut up. Is this the insane asylum? you little fucking baby. High school. What happened to you? War Campaign's the real comic skate. Ethan Bad Wade ate it. This motherfucker. Well, good luck to you. I will tell you yeah. this: you guys can be the real e comic skate. Her sister committed suicide over a year ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. What? EVSJW. I'm sorry. What did yeah. you say about her sister? EVS, her sister committed suicide over a year ago. And what ago. about it? And what about over it? Over a year ago. You and use what about it like it? a cudgel. You no, I don't. You're asking like it happened bitch. yesterday. No, no, I don't. You guys it was are... over a year ago, you liar. You're a fucking SJW. You have Ethan, turned, Ethan you have Van turned into what you hated. Ethan Van Victim. What you're is wrong Wade with you? Go ahead, keep going, guys. You're fucking Mark Wade, brother. Yep. Do we need to keep bring going. up everybody's personal stuff? You're Gail Simone. Keep going. You're Gail Simone. She knows you better than anyone. If Gail she? Simone, if Gail Simone, uh, actually stood up for somebody who uh, had her, their their sibling uh, You're Gail die. Simone. Yeah, I'm you Gail. Are. Simone. Okay, you are. All You're right, guys. Gail All right. She turned into yeah, a calling someone different. calling someone an SJW and Gail Simone from your standpoint right now doesn't mean very much. Are, are you going to uh, like you know what? The there, if I'm Mark Wade and Gail Simone had brother. to put up with you guys. Comic skate wouldn't exist. It wouldn't are be a you thing. Do a it wouldn't be a thing with a diploma soon. It wouldn't be a thing, you guys. Do a stupid uh, you know what? If diploma. if those two people had to put up with you guys, if comic skate was well, made up well, of well. assholes you just like wish you, you were on the laughing end of it again. You know who did all your dirty work before? Ethan Van Weiner. You know, skeletons are in the closet. Stop whining like a little fucking I have, baby, guys. You I'll know the truth, Cito Ethan. Writing at a guy who's actually successful. Shut up, in you fucking. Yes, oh, I'm gonna call this. Yeah, I'm gonna call the fucking bitch on D Live. You guys are irrelevant. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> He's building Fuck this. You. Go, go call the cops. You're not responsible for oh. making Marvel irrelevant. All right. People have had enough, guys. People have had enough. You can talk shit. What the fuck are you two You can talk shit. People have had enough. Hey, Ethan Van Dyke, did you get online? People have had enough of you guys. Everybody's had no. enough of you, EBSJW. You almost did. I no. Just like I, how many times have you done this to no. people now? You're both criers. Well, I'm people have had enough of you guys, and the truth of the well, matter is, is that well, you can do what you can feel however you want. You're you can say whatever you want to say. But people have had you enough of you, and it's reflected. You're a fucking liar. It's reflected in. The sales of your comics, your future as War Campaign, I don't sell is comics. pretty much over. Uh, it's pretty well, much well, over. Well, well. Really? People because are tired of you. Well, you think well. you can kill a War Campaign? You can't kill a War Campaign. You I did fight. already. I ah, did. Oh, you did <laughs> yes. your fucking face, bro. War Campaign was only around because We're of We're going to be in your ass for years, Who the bro. Fuck is the fuck about War Campaign? Who the fuck? Where did you guys have a forum other than you on his can't channel? Kill war guys, hey, Oz, why don't we play the video? You think from you your brought in tons of little you guys, guys, you, you, guys you, 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 you lost your way, guys. You lost your way. You don't get to say that. You don't get to say that. You do not get to say. No, you're not. You're Pan. You're a guy who bullies people on the internet. You're not the consumer. I don't give a shit. You are one individual. Uh, you are one individual. You are you are at the head of a bullying union. You are not organized to to take control of fandom. I didn't organize you guys. You brother. It's such a fucking lie, man. If if War Campaign's dead, why do you keep talking about him? Because they're right you. here talking to me. No, no, uh, we're dead. Ethan we're Van dead. Wade. You have to swat them off. Well, Red User, we're dead. People need to, to know. I, just people just know kill me, brother. You can't kill War fucking Campaign. Zombies. All right. We're going anywhere. Are left. We're going to be in your face 15? for fucking years, bro. I'm just, uh, guys, keep saying this stuff where people can hear it. I think it's a good idea 
the people hear what what you guys are about. The skeletons are coming out of the closet. Your ass off, bro. We're gonna meme you. Guys, do your gay hair so we can get more memes. Go ahead and make memes. It's very impressive. We want you to transition. Circle fucking each other in the ass. You need to fuck you and your full red user one. Fuck you, you motherfucking handicapped bitch. Shut up, you little baby. Well, fucking right, no call all of a sudden, police you're a tough me. guy. You're a tough guy that calls the police. You fucking pussy. Why don't you shut yeah, the fuck up? Yeah, that's what I do. You do. I you make call sure the cops because those are end up in prison. It doesn't sound like you guys are in good shape right now. Not to me or, or any anyone <laughs> listening. You? You're, you're the guy, guy that just lost your shit ten minutes uh, you ago. You better believe it. Uh, better I did lose my shit, and I'm proud of it. No, my oh, blood pressure's fine. You're proud of being... Very proud, proud of yelling at you, and Very proud of yelling at you and raising my voice at you. Somebody needs to yell at you, douchebag. Ethan you're Cohen, fucking up. You're on prime, fucking prime I don't care. Good. Testify. I don't care. This guy's making fun of nice some thing. poor dead girl. Well, testify, well, you're an ass white. I never made fun of a dead girl. Hey, hey, Anna, I never the two of you guys. The two of you guys. Leave Anna alone. You're Leave Anna alone. I don't say Did. anything to Anna. And I send your memes Anna's my way. Right. You know what? Anna's send your memes liar. my way. Meme me. What do you we meme a dead girl for? Because you're a baby no like an XJW. Then meme me. Just meme. No just send saying. your meme. Pick on me. Don't pick on girls. Just meme me, okay? I you are a girl. girl. Do shit to me. Go ahead. I don't I give will. a shit. None of this matters. You know, it, it oh, just if you're gonna meme people, meme me and stop memeing little dead girls. He wants attention. We want you to look like Man, he wants more. attention so can again. You, can you dress up? Can you dress do you up understand? More? I will. Yeah, it's what I do. I entertain people yeah. on my show. But right, I want like you Liberace. guys to do that. Yeah, definitely. Me, me as Liberace. Call me gay. Whatever it is, just leave Anna alone and leave her dead sister alone. That's I all I ask. I have always left her. That's sister. all I ask, I guys. I never said anything about. Do you do your worst to me. Just I knock it off to it. the to the. Uh, I mean, why do you lie so much? I'm Why just saying. So much, You're a true liar, you Ethan. I know. You came in here lying about I'm your lying. goddamn sister, Pan. What's up, guys? Why don't you fucking explain yourself? What How the you fuck, fuck is EBS going after your goddamn sister? <laughs> You're the one who's posting that shit. To, he's talking You're the one who's going to act like a victim and turn the tables around. Are you it doesn't call work. Are you gonna call we call know who the fuck is really the one who's going to sister. Oh, well, Red user. Are you going to call the cops, you fucking pussy? Hey, testify. You guys are doing great here. Testify. Where? Ethan Where'd your avatar posting... go? Your Star Wars avatar. Ethan oh, you want that one? On I Charlie thought you were supposed to be on the show right now. You guys look great. Yeah, there you go. I mean, look, I, I don't know what to say. Don't you guys look great. You're going to meme me over this because I'm yelling at you over it. Pan. That, that's not going to work, Pan. That didn't work. Pan, that didn't work. Pan, you are going to talk about my sister? That didn't work. That whole thing didn't work. Pan, he wants us to meme him because he's getting... He's not getting the attention he used to get anymore. Heard your, heard your super chats are down. Testy. Testy, Shut I thought up, you were supposed you little to be... baby. You too. I, I thought you were supposed to be doing your show right now. Mirror and show eyes. can't go live until uh, 3 p.m. Yeah, whatever, dude. Fucking well, stalker. whatever, dude. I, I, I love it, guys. Keep, keep going. I mean, Look at Ethan, you're not even comic skate anymore, dude. You're canceling CG projects like you're fucking Mark Wade. I haven't you're canceled a single skate. CG project. That's you're a lie. It's a talking skate. point. You're a liar. You're well, I, you I will let. Jail? I will let. Uh, yeah, I will let the audience we'll decide. We will prove your liar. All whatever you say, dude. Whatever you say. Whatever That's you say. Kiwi farms do. As long as you, said. as long as you talk, as long as you keep the focus on me and not on the girls. On I don't the little focus girls. on them. No, you keep just, the focus just on me, you not the little girls. You've unleashed You're a liar, the beast. Not the girls, not the girls. You're fucking little milk. That's, that's, that's all I'm that's saying. Uh, uh, yeah. The beast, You're Ethan. fucking SJW. Sure. You fucking white knight, that's, pussy. That's SJW and white knight. I've never said anything about her sister. Why do you keep saying that? Uh, I've never said anything about your sister. I don't. Bullshit. It's on the Charlie's London thread, you fucking moron. You shut your fucking mouth. You came in here to call him a cunt. What the yes, fuck is the point of you being here, Pan? Do you have but a point? Is you um, ever, well, don't you your, your plan wasn't to, very well ever have out anything relevant to say? Don't you have some police to call you fucking pussy? Say something relevant. Make a fucking point. What's your point? You're going to refund you people because in you here, get butt hurt. Bitch. You're, gonna, you're the one who came in here shouting. Cecil, make Cecil a fucking took your point. wrench and then you threatened what the to refund you every to comic say? skate book. You're a pussy. Pan, grow the fuck up. Make a point. My point is, when Cecil took your wrench, you... 
threaten to refund every Comicscape book you ever bought because you're a huge pussy. Pan, do you have something relevant to say? Why did you're, you come in here to talk to Ethan? I came what in. What the fuck are you doing in here? He came in here mouth. to threaten me over I something that wasn't even you. a real thing. You did. He threaten you. You're such a girl, dude. All right, I'm a girl. Why are you man? such a pussy? He came in here to drag us all pussy. into the mud. Yeah. You're a pussy. You fucking, what are you scared? Oh, is it threatening you? No, I told you. Hey, to shut when the are you fuck going up. to jail? I want to know that. Probably right. next week. Next week? Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Thank you. Throw God. a party. I don't, I, I don't want Pan to go to jail. I just want this shit to, to just stop. That's all. I just want it to stop. Really? Yeah, I do. I, I do. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for Comicsgate, whether I am Comicsgate then, or then, not. Then quit acting like Ethan Van Wade. I don't think I've done that, and uh, I don't think a there's any reason to do. say that. A lot of no, I, I don't. No, see, Mark Wade got in between people's uh, deals. He actually broke up contracts between people. Oh, kind of, kind of like you and people who were with fucking CG Jumpstart, kind of. No, I, I didn't do that. I, I have, I did not do that. Why did that fall apart? Because Steve Dye walked away from you, and by the way, uh, well, you'll, you'll find Steve out. Steve Dye is holding the files. That is not, not my responsibility. And he told me, uh, actually, I said, are you holding the files? And he said, Rose got three sets of files. I don't know why he's saying that. Hmm. So that's weird that Steve Dye told me that, that Roe has three sets of files. And how would I know? And he said that Roe kept asking him to make these arbitrary changes, and he made them all. That's why there are three sets of files. He just wanted to walk away from you guys. And, I, and he said, I got to take a break somewhere and fly. I got to take a break. And I said, okay, well, if you're not going to do this magazine, when you come back, I'll find something for you to do. I had nothing to do with it. This is you guys. You guys drove away all your friends. You and Cecil do paraded it. it around like it was some accomplishment that you killed fucking CG. Uh, no, I, no, man. No, no, you no, did. no. No, you did. Pan, it's Pan, it might have felt that way to you, but I didn't. I was not happy about that, and I didn't have anything to do with killing it. How do you live with yourself being such a fucking Pan, liar? I thought you quit why Ethan. Are you I, why are you here? I thought you quit him. That's what you usually do when you go away, right? Yeah, this yeah, is well, weird. Yeah, well, he keeps like, talking. I'm He's not, talking on the internet. I you would, came on the show. <laughs> like, what are you talking well, about? Well, red user. Are you, you, you gonna, broke up with him and now you're here. Like, are you going to give me a BJ? Then shut your fucking mouth. Okay, yeah. Jesus Whatever. Christ. All right, look. Here's the situation with Steve Dye, all right? Uh, Steve Dye contacted me pissed off in his car. He sent me a message. He said, I'm so mad right now. I feel like digging a hole, going and grabbing pan and putting him in the hole. Uh, that's <laughs> oh, what he it's said to me. Fault. Really? That's what Steve Dye said oh, to me. And I said, hey, man, Steve. take a break. Take a breather. Take a what breather. What did I do? I don't know. Because I didn't ask. I'm not really involved. He said, uh, he said I got to take a break. I got to go away. And I said, I understand, man. Look, if you're looking for work when you get back, uh, I'll find a magazine for you to do. And he said, man, you would do that for me? That's huge. I said, sure, I will. Uh, I uh, After all this, uh, I, can, I can get him a magazine. That's not a problem at all. I'm very wealthy. Uh, so, uh, uh, I said, so what is this about Ro Kabir Kumar saying that he doesn't have the files and you're holding them hostage? And he said, it's bullshit. Ro has three sets of files. And I don't know anything about it other than that. He said, Ro kept making, asking me to make changes. And I said, oh. And I said to him, actually, I said, if you have anything else, turn it over to them. And he said, well, uh, you know, okay. Uh, I will listen to what you say to me. Uh, and that's uh, that's the last conversation I had with uh, with Steve Dye. Uh, he's still on vacation, uh, but he's very angry with you guys. Has nothing to do with me. I do not need to plan. I I've got people coming to me begging me for work. I don't need to steal your talent. That's you not what paraded, I do. You guys paraded CG Jumpstart's death around like it was a fucking party. I don't feel like I did do that. Pan. They're laughing at you for I killing it. I, I don't think I did that to you. I really don't think I did that. I don't think that's a fair accusation. You and, and Cecil you, Simone. Okay, I don't think I did that. I, I'm not somebody who wants uh, projects to not so work why, out. Okay, how come you tried to tie Gat Hanzo to this fucking bullshit then? He had nothing to do with you this guys. stuff. No, I didn't tie Gat. You, I tied Roe to it. You said, I'm pinning you directly to you. Said I you said, no, I didn't. Sorry, I said this. Man. No, read the tweet sorry. again. Sorry, dude, I got it. I got read it. the I tweet again. Archive, I said, brother. this is getting pinned to you, Gat. I didn't mm -hmm. say I'm pinning it to you. 
This is the way it's going to work. This, yeah, that sounded like this some is fucking, going to be. That sounded like some Tim Doyle phrasing right there. This uh, is I'm getting sorry. Into you, Gat. You're, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds That's, me of you know, two, Ken, I can't help your a, interpretation of things. With the, wrong the reality of the Same reality shit. of this is the reality of this is that's the way the world works. Uh, it kind of sucks. In your world. I've works had like to pay. SJW no, 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 no. I've your had world to pay. Looks like SJW world. You're doing this Tim Doyle shit. No, I've had to pay quite a price for associating with you guys. Uh, but that's yes. just the price that I paid. Well, you're, you're uh, gonna pay people who's because you assholes that I sided because I sided with them a ton. What? Someone else talking? Who was that? A cuck? Reza Kai, how are you? What the hell? What am I doing in the fucking? Oh, I hit the studio. I hit the link. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Continue, continue on, Pan. It was so riveting. I, I was bringing someone else in. No, yeah, no, I don't need to. I don't and need I'm to telling you the truth, and you know I don't lie to you. Uh, and ah! you call me a liar. <laughs> what? You're a fucking liar. You You're call a me a liar is ridiculous. I've I'll never lied to you. Oh my god, bro! I've you said that I gave you. you an ultimatum. I never gave you an ultimatum. Pan, you, you, Pan. I read it as an ultimatum. I had two how come sets you never friends. respond to that thread that I got going? And I well, and I say, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have you blocked. You I, and let, let's work it out. Afraid to, brother. No, I'm not afraid of it. I'm you not... know I got you by your fucking nuts. I don't know what you're, you're talking about. Pan, Pan, you're a liar. I was the one who told you to release that set of DMs, right, and you and refused I don't to do, do it. Well, I know, but I gave you permission, I and usually to, I want you to read the text. And then tell me whether or not that is exactly what was said. And then, and then, Pan, if you but, say but we don't not, live in we don't live in a like that's this autistic reality like where it has to, to be DMs. literally you know said. Wanna, do you know why Pan, I don't want to drop DMs? Because dropping because you'll DMs, play is, victim. You'll you'll play victim. I won't play you'll say, victim. Oh my God, he broke our privacy. He's dropping DMs. You'll no, 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 uh, like Pan, you know, Pan. I don't want you to Pan. I don't want you to drop any Pan. I gave you permission to drop those DMs. Yeah, then you then you'll play victim. You'll be a how could I do that when I gave you a, when there's a tweet? Like you always Ethan, do. if I if I may, just for a second. Um, so you said earlier, just as a point of clarification, you sure. said that um, um, you were not responsible when someone interpreted something you didn't mean. But just now you did say, "Well, I took something to mean something else." One thing I'm noticing. And uh, I'm just, you know, some random nobody, but I feel like I speak for the normies sometimes who dip in, who dip out, who don't always follow all this crazy nonsense. But I do see a lot of shit talking. Um, and I think a lot of normies who dip in and dip out and want to follow this, you know, want to support some of the cause sometimes. We see tons of shit talking. We see lots of accusations being flung. And we see people who are taking things and interpreting um one thing and then taking dialing it up to an, to an 11 and then he, all of a sudden all the accusations of lying come out i'm someone who has three sisters and uh if you ask any sister or and me what happened about you know a very particular objective situation it's surprising how, how you'll get like four different situations out of it you'll get four different stories but if we're not careful what ends up happening is you know you're saying this you're a liar and then it's like, well, I interpreted this, and then we start bringing out, you know, flavors of interpretation into. Sure, the yeah, net. yeah, that's fair. So let me, can I share my screen? Uh, and then you, because I, I agree with you, uh, but you interpret this for me, please. Read this tweet aloud, and you tell me what this uh, what this means. All right, sure, but what's the full context? Victim time. It's context. Well, I, well, I mean, I I want to know the context. I, I'm not I'll being tell a you victim. The context, because I wrote it. Right. Context matters. Okay, so so to be fair, can, can so to be fair to the other side, what is the context here? Because this okay. is what I hate about the clip game. Because again, yeah. for, from a normie perspective, when people are playing clip games, what ends up happening is a whole bunch of manipulation. And again, the, theater of the mind. You see what you want to see. You interpret what you want to interpret, and then the superheroes and the supervillains come out because this is comics, right? And then it's just you know you're a bad guy, you're a good guy, and I'm basically just looking at people just arguing with each other on the internet and winning nothing. So, someone translate this panism. Yeah. Okay. Well, what it is is I'm saying is if your fans from Kiwi Farms put out memes of my sister, they're going to be all over your timeline. So that's what you meant. Yep. She's okay. about to be your new business partner. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means she's going to be all over your timeline. So when I see, um, so when I see on my chat, because I blame you. For getting me dogs. No, 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 no. Again, 
so that this is this is you saying what you meant okay yes this, this is, is ex- full, this, this is what i meant this is full context now ethan i'm sure you could say that you uh it's have not ways- a death threat okay that's, i think i have to throw myself down a flight of stairs to understand this Hey, 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 well, yeah, that's, that's, that's 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 not unnecess- that's not that's not necessary. Okay, <laughs> all right, Ethan. Now you, you mean how did you read this? What did you interpret from he this? He wanted to play victim. No, no I no, didn't. No, I no, said no, I said this. Here's what I said. I said, sorry. Hold on, let me talk. I said, sorry. what's this about? So as you can see, I didn't interpret it anyway. I said, what's this about? You're telling people you're getting it. death threats on Twitter, you fucking. No, other crazy. people are saying that. I'm not no, saying that. You, no, you said that. Other you people said are saying nah, that. Other people, bro, this got, got sent. By the way, uh, by the way, Pan, sense. if somebody sent this to me, uh, I'm allowed to interpret this as a death threat. And I will well, leave that open to pussy. the. Well, I'm not a pussy. Well, I received I'm telling dozens you what of death threats. Well, it's not. Well, I've received lots of death threats. You've seen me receive death threats. Well, you're not going to get one from me. Well, uh, thanks, Pan. Uh, but this is a really scary thing to say to somebody, especially well, when over you something. Fuck with my family. I'm not, but okay, all right, problems. Pan. Pan, Do you hold on a second. That? Pan, Do you understand that? Pan, have you ever read Kiwi Farms before? Have you read it? No, I don't spend much time there. Okay, okay, I do read it. That's yeah, why I open an account there. You're a total there. Kiwi spur. You're a huge Kiwi spur. Well, well, they make fun of me there. See, this is the thing, uh, Pan. They don't like me there. Uh, I'm there to I'm there they, to troll they them. They see through your bullshit. That's why. well, that's great. So, in other words, they see through my bullshit, and I can't manipulate them and tell them to dox you. Uh, that's not something that's in my power to do because they see through my bullshit. Uh, they make fun of me every single day, and what I do is I go in there and uh, peacock. They call it. In other words, I show off how well Cyberfrog's doing to drive them nuts. Uh, well, some of them have caught on to that. You made in DMs. What was that little threat you made in the DMs there? What, what, what threat mean? in the DM? Could you tell me what that means? Go against me, Pan, and see how it goes. That's what. what exa- that? That's oh, not a threat. That that's that. uh, exactly right. Go against me with this and see how it goes for you in war campaign. What, I don't think it's going to go well. You're going to get us all docs because the next day we were. That's ridiculous. Docs, no, Pam, that's not what I do. I don't do hmm. that. Really. Pretty no, I don't suspicious. do that. If I, well, if I, if I can, really for just, just suspicious. Well, I don't do that. I don't have the capability. I, I don't. I don't dox people. You could have uh, told your fucking spur guy that you know that. that I don't have any spur guys. You I don't. You're his first Mr. Father. Dongs is in here. Mr. Dongs is uh, is is pretty popular over. I would say popular on Kiwi Farms. He's a spur. Would would I mean Mr. Dongs is going to have to give you some perspective about how they see me as Kiwi Dons Farms. Mr. Dongs doesn't even know the fucking history of comics, kid. I ain't listening to nothing that guy's Okay, if, we, if I could for just a second. Um, so again, like we, we were making just a teeny bit of progress about five seconds ago, but one thing I noticed was something I have noticed a lot, which is, um, and I've seen this on both sides of the argument, because like I said, I dipped in, I dipped out, and then I found my, my Twitter timeline, half of it was shouting at the other half. So again, just you know, speaking from the normies, like this doesn't really do anybody any credit. Um, when it's just shouting all the time, um, creators who I know and I respect and everyone's calling everybody a liar. And from normie vision, it means that either everyone's lying or that, you know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, sociopaths that I didn't know, um, which in reality, what I think is happening is a whole bunch of shit talkers taking things out of context and, you know, not having, you know, that five seconds of understanding, like where Pam basically said, this is what I meant. And then Ethan said, well, this is how I read it. And this is how it would, you know, you know how maybe a lot of people would read it. And Pam's like, well, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant in full context. And then we actually, you know, we're able to get past things for just a second. But one thing I keep noticing is accusations of what's called motivism. And just to break it down, it means when you assume what someone else is thinking, and that's a very, you know, not to be mean, a very foolish thing to do because only an individual knows what he is thinking at any given time. So the second that you say, this is what your motive is, this is what you're thinking, you're already in a fallacious position. So again, I'll let someone say, this is what I meant. This is the context of what I've meant. And then someone else can say, well, either I agree with you or disagree with you to this extent. That's, you're going to make way more progress than you're going to make with, this is what you meant. And the other person is going to say, of course, this isn't what I meant. That's not what I was thinking. Do you know my mind? Do you know my soul? I mean, that's, let's, let's get past that because otherwise it's just going to be a circle jerk of just calling each other, you know, uh, pussies and fags for like two hours. Oz, this guy's going to take your job. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's, uh, I'm actually, I'm quite fascinated by the people that, that come on the show and, uh, and, and, and do this role. It's very similar to, um, Peter, uh, what's his name? George Peter Gatsis. 
Oh yeah, the Blue Muppet. Mm, mm. He's a character. Very similar. Continue, continue on um, Twitless. As you were. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose my voice. Let's let's speed oh, this up. Okay. All right. Where are we at? What what do we need to talk about here? Pan, I was not threatening your sister. I didn't dox no, you. I, I had didn't nothing. Say you were okay. All right. All right. You listen. You got. You were on a Charlie's London thread, and you said that I was instructing people to say stuff in your chat about my sister. First off, that's 100% untrue. Okay, that's good second, to know. Second, why would you just say that? That's a straight up Because lie. Because we you said no all this stuff. Because Well, no, you're right. But you said uh, a bunch of tweets. You offered a lot of tweets that you were going to march your dead sister on As me. You're going to wake the dead, brother. Which was really strange. Like, that doesn't make any we, sense. We speak and in then this I've got, fucking gay rope. I, I, I got it. I got it. But, but then I see this person that I don't know in my chat saying something that's pretty fucking horrible about your sister that and person i it is looks to me a fucking paid member of your of your that doesn't matter a lot of war campaigners yeah a lot of war campaigners are, are still paid members of my channel so i look at that and i go well, uh that doesn't that make sense anyone to do anything like that. all right well pan that's I okay but i haven't said anything pan, about anna's sister you need to quit saying that i'm saying shit about anna's sister and i want i think you should come out and tell your friends that that's fucked up but I, it's, How it's, do you know that I haven't? I'm not going to do it publicly because I don't tell grown men what to do on the internet. Why not? And let you, I, I don't see because why you shouldn't. Because I don't shouldn't. need to make a show out of that. Right, because right, it's to, stupid. Right, to, 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 be, right, to, to, to toss a bone to pan here, uh, Ethan, I do see you. I have seen some instances. It seems, again, just for my normie vision, again, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have seen you lump people in you know, and say, these people are doing X. And I know you're, you know, like I said, I know you're, you don't have time to follow every single Twitter thread ever. He does a bunch but, of SJW. Well, let me, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Let's let's be fair here, okay? But sometimes I have seen you lump people together and be very combative, and I think that's part of your Jersey upbringing, whatever. But you know, there, I've seen other people, normies, who say, "Wow, I feel like I'm being targeted. I feel like I'm being lumped in together with something that I'm not a part of," and then they feel like they're taking crap from you. And again, that's where a lot of I feel like a lot of this crap has started. So if you can clarify, you know who exactly you're talking about and be as specific as possible. Um, I think certain people won't feel like they're being targeted and feel like they need to come after you with, you know, whatever, you know, memeing your ass off or whatever. Uh, name a bunch of uh, war campaigners uh, that are uh, making or have made memes that are just uh, ex excruciatingly awful. I don't want to do that. Uh, I feel like, uh, uh, I feel like the problem with that is, is that in addition to naming the people who are making the meme or sharing the memes, there are the people who made the memes, the people who like the memes, who retweeted the memes. Uh, it is uh, which I did none of. So why it is hard to. All right, Pan, thank you for not doing that. But you know well, what? You Those memes circulated. Pan, what I said to you, what I said to you was, you need to come out against it. And you said, how do you know I didn't? You because I didn't hear you say it. Times that I, I didn't hear you say it. Alone, and I haven't ever said anything. About I want. That. I would like War Campaign to find a new target, and if that target is me, if you guys insist, if you him. guys insist on coming after me for some reason, uh, because I just couldn't take any more, well, and gonna, I was we're disgusted. Gonna we're gonna mean. I don't. Sure. I don't care. You're all blocked. Uh, but I mean, if that's uh, if that's what you, you want to do, you block us to check. You you forgot to reblock me the other day. Uh, well, I think I was okay. saying something to you that I wanted you to hear. Uh, but no, I'll remember you to reblock you. On me. you were spying I'll, on me. I'll remember to. Yeah, because you sent me a death threat. I did uh, not. That was before the. Oh, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Anyway. Again, again. Oh, you were spying on me because you're obsessed with me. You're in love hold, with hold, me. Hold on. I let's, broke up with you. Pan, I, I didn't. You came in here. I didn't. Uh, you know what the fuck are you talking about? You right, came so, in here to pick a fight with I me. I came in. Yeah, I did. Ethan, Ethan, I understand that you don't want to like get into like direct name calling, but can you see how when people feel lumped in, they get super defensive? And, and to be fair, you have been lumped in with. Wasn't this uh, what happened when comics get got lumped in with the alt right, and you hated that? So it feels like on a smaller scale, when you lump people in, that's how they feel, and then like I said, just starts a smaller scale version of what's happened to you. Again, just normie vision. That's kind of what sometimes it appears to be happening. Uh, the bad news is. Uh, is that this is a group of people uh, who call themselves War Campaign uh, that tend it's to a all fan act. Group. It, you know what? Who is it a fan group of? It's a fan group of Comicsgate. I see. I see. I right, continue. Finish what you were saying. Well, that doesn't I, it's, fit your narrative. 
Uh, Pan, let him finish. Come on, let him finish the thought before you jump down. What are you about? Uh, it's uh, it, it's not what Comic Skate's about to me. It's not what I think Comic Skate's for. We buy lots of comics and we promote lots of comics. So. Well, I I definitely appreciate that, but it comes at a cost, doesn't it? Then why are you canceling everyone that's associated Pan, Pan, with us? Pan, we're we're, try we're trying to get to the bottom of this. Let, let him finish a thought before you jump down his throat. Let I him. I will say this. I'm asking I, him questions. I, I will say that the problem is so widespread uh, that excluding people uh, would probably be easier. Uh, than pointing out individuals, uh, and that is the that's my view of this. As I look uh, at these uh, at this behavior, uh, and I see who's involved. Many of these people, by the way, I don't even know. I don't even know these people. I, I don't even know if they're real comic skate or uh, real war campaign. Uh, they could be just infiltrators. These guys are like we're newbies. We weren't well, around in two thousand eighteen. I mean, we, can't, we can't police everyone. Who are that watches these people? The show. How can well, we police everyone that watches the show? Okay. We're not going to try. See, see, okay, from a normie vision, it just feels like it's recreations of similar things. Because when Comic Skate started, it's not like Ethan could control everybody, right? But then when the fan club starts, it's not like they can control everybody, right? So it's like it just keeps on happening. And from normie vision, we just get, you know, confused. And then a lot of us get afraid and then we dip out. And that's why you're seeing less people contribute to these campaigns. It's, Ethan, I'm, not, I'm not saying I have the answer. What I'm saying is, is that it's very easy to identify what some of the problems are. Ethan believes you can control people. He believes he can control. No, you no, no. I just said you can't assume what someone else believes. If oh, you I've seen ask... him in action. Oh Lord, <laughs> Ethan, do you think you can control people? No. Uh, what He's I very think very manipulative. I... Oh, well, I don't. I don't know if I'm manipulative. Human uh, beings but... are manipulative. Come on. <laughs> I, 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 well, I don't this think is that's... on another level, brother. Well, this well, Pan, here, here's what I think. What I think is I have a show, uh, and in the past, it's been pretty clear that when I promote comic books. Uh, people buy them. My fans buy them. I thought you guys were my fan club. Uh, that's what you told me. We you told were me, until you started acting not comic. You told game. me you're no. I, I've been comic skate all along. Nothing's changed. Hmm. Uh, I've been comic skate nonstop. Some of these weird Is things. Is dynamite are, comic skate? Uh, no, I am comic skate, and therefore anyone I use to fulfill my ends uh, is just somebody that I've employed. How can you be Comic Skate when you're trying to fucking cancel all these Comic Skate I, First of all, back up. Did you hear what I just said about Dynamite? Because that's a big uh, thing going around. What I said was, uh, I am Comic Skate. Right. And I have my independent comic book. And therefore, but, anyone that I employ, whether it's another mainstream company to help me make product uh, or individuals who make product, I can't do this all by myself. So... That's Comic Skate. That's fair enough, but is Dynamite Comic Skate? Dynamite is somebody, they're a company that makes comic books. How Some come people said over there. Skate? How come you were because, trying to tell people they were Comic Skate? Because you know? one individual there feels very strongly about what's going on in the culture war. And that individual is my friend. And so I feel like, uh, as this person is seeing the reality of the comic book industry, uh, I think in a way, and I it slipped, I probably shouldn't have said it the way that I said it, uh, but to say that uh, Dynamite uh, is Comics Gate when they are allies uh, of this movement and they're helping you, comic You were trying skaters. to push that narrative to see if people... Well, I mean, you it. guys... And they didn't. They told you you were crazy, so you dropped it. No, I, I don't think that's true, Pan. I, I don't That's. I don't have to convince people of things like that. You uh, that's tried. Not, no, no, Pan. Uh, I didn't. I didn't try to convince people of anything. The That's reality right. of the of the reality of the situation is, uh, I have to make books. I make toys, uh, and therefore I get into business with people who help me do that. But it's me employing them, and therefore this idea that people who utilize dynamite and their vast resources uh, are no longer comicscape is a really fucking weird idea that seems alien to me. What makes Comics Gate, or what makes Dynamite any different than, say, transcontinental printing? They print Gail Simone comics. So surely we're putting money in the pockets of Gail Simone somehow by employing transcontinental to make our books. It doesn't make any sense, Pan. It's not based on anything in reality. I will continue to go out and do the stuff that I do, make the product that I make to enrich myself and use whoever is out there to help me make that product. If it's Dynamite, cool. If it's Transcontinental, cool. BCW supplies me with uh, all kinds of stuff. These are mainstream companies that I need right now.
Pan, if, uh, I, if, I, if I could toss you another bone here. Ethan, one yeah. thing that I've noticed is that um, as these mainstream creators get kind of tossed into the mix, um, I think I've noticed a lot of hurt feelings because it does feel, feel like perhaps that the little guys who started the thing and were following uh, from the very, very beginning um, are getting left behind. I'm not saying... Left again, behind, what the, what left the, behind not, by who? I'm not saying what the solution is. I'm talking about perceptions and feelings. Okay, okay. all right. And so again, so this is not it's, not, it's not all about facts. Again, perception and feelings are, are a thing. And so if, if the little guys who are, you know, uh, you know, in your, you know, in the supposed fan club are struggling to, you know, get their books in and maybe they're struggling to get on your shows and they see other people get uh, fast tracked to the front, I, it feels like, again, from the normie outside perspective, it feels like that's where the, the, the hurt was coming. Is that? Am I anywhere near the mark there, Pan? Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm not a they creator, so I can't really speak to that. You know, I'm a I'm a consumer. I'm not a I'm not making a book, so I, that's really not my perspective at all that I have. Okay. So I well, let me okay. let me let me offer three a three dimensional view of that. Okay, okay. Uh, I am not uh, the totality of Comics Gate. Uh, I am a Comics Gator who was pushed into being a Comics Gator uh, when I was canceled by SJWs so and pushed out of the mainstream. Uh, and I build up my own platform uh, full of my fans, okay? My, not comic skaters, my fans uh, who came along with me. Uh, and then I said, guys, I believe in this thing called Comic Skate. And I'm going to start my own book. I'm going to do it myself. I want you guys to support my book. And by the way, support my friend Zach's book over here too. And my fans came along and bought his book and bought my book. Now, as sure, time went you. on... As time went on, thanks, Pan. As time went on, uh, people like the Bunny uh, and others started to give me grief because I was bringing in my friends from the mainstream onto my channel to be uh, to meet my fans and to get their books promoted. And smaller creators were saying, "Why can't we get a shot? Why won't you support us too?" And I said, "Huh." That's a good point. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I'll bring on some of these smaller creators who didn't work in the mainstream ever. Besides Mitch Breitweiser, Mike Guess Miller, uh, you know, these other guys that I was bringing out. Holy shit, they all turned out to be cucks. <laughs> yeah. They well, not Mitch. Mitch is not a cuck. He just fucked up his book. Well, uh, but, Walmart. Uh, the guy's really good, though, uh, to be fair. But the He's Walmart the thing the right, Walmart thing guy. sucked. All right. Uh, but, but the whole thing was... Bring on these smaller creators. And now suddenly, uh, the and I did that for a long time, as much as I could. And then suddenly the perception switched. And it became this audience, which was kind of my fans, became the totality of Comicsgate. And it became Ethan is taking over Comicsgate. Rather than what actually happened, which was I took my fans and turn them on to Comicsgate and ask them to please, as a favor to me, think about supporting these other comic books. Do you understand? So when I say uh, I'm going to bring some more professionals over uh, and I'm going to introduce them to my audience and get their books funded, that's because I have a big, gigantic fan base and an audience that's willing to do that. I don't owe these smaller creators anything. I do it out of the goodness sure. of my heart. But I don't want to feel pushed into it. I don't want ass madness if I decide that I don't want to support your books. Uh, this is not the totality of Comicsgate. I am just part of Comicsgate. I am a voice within Comicsgate. I am a Comicsgater. Uh, I recommend, as I've always recommended, that other people uh, build up their own platforms and do what I did. Uh, maybe, maybe spend 25 years uh, working in the mainstream and earn. Uh, a little bit of clout that they can turn into a customer base and a platform. Uh, and then they can do, they can get their books funded uh, on their own. As other than that, if I choose not to support their books, I don't know what to say about their hurt feelings. They're not entitled to anything from me. Sure, sure, sure. I just, the one thing that does sometimes get me is that it, it again, that's, that's the way, uh, thank you for clarifying that point. But sometimes it feels like, um, <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading chat there. Apparently, I'm I'm injecting soy. Apparently, people want more blood sports. Maybe I should just shut up and let you guys <laughs> scream at each other for another, you know, 45 minutes. That was to be the soy injection. You took my spot. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's a soy latte? No, well, um, well red user is way more soy than you. Don't worry about it. Woohoo! All right. No, Probably. I was trying. I was I was trying to be the the, the Lorax. I speak for the trees. Um, no. Um, so the point that I have seen sometimes, Ethan, is that it appears 
uh, from an outside perspective that sometimes you want to have your cake and eat it too, or I'm sorry, I should say pie, uh, have your pie and eat it too, uh, where it's like you want to say you're comics gay, and it's, it appears, again, from the way I interpret it, that you're, I'm comics gay, everyone, is, you know, ev I'm the totality of comics gay, and sometimes in your, uh, your Twitter messaging, that's the way it appears that you want it, but then when things, when the heat gets turned up, it's like, well, I'm not in charge of it. So I, it almost feels like you're playing both sides of that, and I, even, even it appears that way on some of your live streams when things get really contentious, and it just... It just it, well, I, I would say, excuse me if you ever thought that I was saying that I am the totality of comics gate. I think I've said hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times that that was not the case. Uh, there were many opportunities uh, for me to seize the title of leader of comics gate, uh, and some people probably would have gone along with that. And I said time and time again, that's not something that I want. And the only reason, the only way I would ever accept the role of leader of comics gate is if there was an election and I got 100% of the votes. Uh, other than that, I'm quite happy where I'm at. I like being a big voice in Comicsgate. I like having the power to get books funded. Uh, mm -hmm. I won't lie. That's incredibly cool uh, that I can get books funded on my on my show, usually within a day. One, one, one live stream will get a book funded. Uh, I, I really love that. I love my fans for that. I'm really grateful for that. How does it I feel am, to try and kill them? Uh, Pan, right. I, I have never tried to kill anyone's comic, including Best yours. too. It's what I like I pulled my support from it. Okay, talking talking shit does not equal killing. So let's be specific. No, your comics gate is dead. Your uh, war campaign is dead. You know, war campaign is yeah. That's that's, that's that's a lot of shit talking. You like did, I, you did your I, best I, to get people to not buy that book. Let's be honest. I well, you guys I, reciprocated pretty good on Ethan. So I don't think right uh, I, I don't think I did that. Okay. I, I don't think I well, did that. Well, it's out then. there. It's all over Twitter. Well, people, people can, can look and see themselves. my behavior. Uh, okay. I think I said, I think I took an evil fucking me, uh, message. Um, and, from Gat uh, Hanzo? For, no, from Ro Kabir Kumar. From Ro, uh, Ro, Ro took an evil message. Ro liked it. Message. Ro hit like on something oh, he really liked sinister. The post? Holy shit, he liked the post. Why you're would you like cancel, something like that? You're going to cancel a CG product. Project I'm not. I can't cancel anything, post? Pan. Oh, I can't. We you see you're man. you're missing, Pan. You you're big you're man, Pan. You you keep missing. I can't cancel anything. You I can pull best, my brother. support from it. You know what? It's about to hit 26k. You know, pretty good for you trying to fucking cancel it. Then why are you here? I I think why you just proved that I didn't try. Are to you cancel gonna suck it? his dick, well read user? Okay, I'm well, tired well, of you pulling at Daddy's pant leg, saying, "Please pay attention at me." No, I mean, I'm here. He I'm here to kick Daddy anything. in the balls, and I am. He doesn't owe you anything, Pan. Go live I your know life. He doesn't owe me a goddamn thing, and I don't owe him. You jumped in either. here just to talk I've crap. Spent... Yeah, I did. What did you Why? do? You came in here to suck dick. No, I came in here to have a conversation. You came in here. Are you going to call the cops again? Are you going to call the cops on me for shit I didn't even do again? You fucking pussy. No, you should be focused you are, on promoting your book instead you know, of coming fucking, in here making the book and look bad. You don't promote shit. All you do is threaten to refund people because Cecil took You're losing backers right pussy. now, like actively. Ethan doesn't have to cancel you. You cancel yourself. You're a pussy. Why don't you go call the cops? Yeah. Ethan, go call the cops that, on the internet um, because you're a pussy. Did you know that Well Read User has a, uh, has a... Is it a warrant out against Penn? Or is it just, <laughs> or is it just Probably. a Probably. Yeah, did you file? Would you file? Would you file? Well, Red. Uh, it's just, so I mean, Pan. You know, oh, say what, Pan. Go ahead and laugh, but like, it's weird that that people are are doing that around you. You know what I mean? Like, Do it's what? weird. I don't know. Going to the police about you. I mean, because here's the thing. Fucking pussies. Listen. It, well, I mean, Pan. Explain, uh, people could be Pan. People hey, hey, could hey, be hey. pussies. It's all. But it's all about you, dude. They're trying to get you. Do you understand what's happening? No. Anti CG has this thing where they're trying to convict me on this bullshit charge. So that they can say you're leading a fucking harassment campaign, they're trying to get you, brother. Well, if I, I, I go down, care. it's they're gonna try and get you. I'm telling you. I, I'm, I'm not worried save, about. I'm gonna it. have to save your ass. I'm gonna have to save. And I'm not. I'm not I'm at gonna all go worried to jail about for it. you, brother. I'm going to jail for you. Thanks. I'm not worried about it. You'll be going to jail for yourself. Uh, yeah, going, you know. I'm going to jail for you. All right. Because well, they're they're trying to use me to take. Be quicker you down. about it, Pan. I'm trying to get it for? through the system. I'm trying. You talk to the fucking. Go to VA. jail tomorrow. Go right I'm now. I'm trying. I would love to get this. Right. Okay. Trust me. Jeez. Vacation on Panama. But um. So well read. <laughs> what what files did you charge in against who? I'm not gonna bring that up. Cause you're a pussy. 
and it has nothing yeah, to do with I'm, anything. I'm, you're I'm just fine. calling Tell the cops like. on some guy trying to get you're trying to do some guilt by association shit, trying to get me in trouble for something someone else said. You're a huge pussy. Fan, what are your goals on YouTube? Are you here to make money? No, bro. I'm here to I'm here to have some laughs and to call out the cucks. Are you here to cost other people money? I'm here to call you a cuck. That's what you do. Do I? I mean, when you come in here and you call people names and you want to stir up shit and divide, divide CG, Who you're just costing, costing money? people money. Who? Well, right now you're costing Gat a lot of money. I am? I don't have anything to do with that project. If War Campaign could con control themselves and act civilly, they would have way more backers. You'd be a like, like call the cops again. on people for nothing. Is that civil? All right, so I'm going to toss Pan another bone here, which is the fact that a Comics Gate, no matter how you look at it, is a countercultural movement, kind of like the 2016 election, and the trolls help win. All right, but once once the victory has been had, all ca most countercultural movements kind of start eating themselves. There's kind of an historical perspective on it, and that's when like the mainstream part of it starts distancing itself. Like you can just like step back and just watch that happen from after the 2016 election with the alt right, and you can kind of see it. I think now happening with war campaign, and I'm again like I said, not not that I have the answers to it, but it's like. It's, you know, you hate to see it happen, but it's like without the memers, without the trolls, without the people who being edgy, you don't get some of the countercultural victories that you get. But, you know, edgy over time usually doesn't age very well. And then there's a certain point where it's like, man, I can't have that rape joke on my channel. And it's like, well, you use that rape joke earlier to help win against the, you know, opponent we were fighting, which would be like the mainstream. Like that totally like, yeah, is something the, that's happening. The whole thing about this is, is that like right now at this moment, now, let's just say, let's go back in time about a month ago, two months ago. Comic Skate was at its zenith. I mean, we were, everything was really, really, really good. Uh, and I remember stopping it to take a minute to smell the roses, uh, as it were, and say everything is great right now. Everything is really, really great. We've got all of our allies lined up where we want. we got War Campaign. They're about to launch their books. It's going to be great. Uh, you know, basically everybody was succeeding and then it, it all turned to shit over something incomprehensible. And if you hear me yelling, uh, and I'm very angry about it. I'm angry that like, uh, what was going pretty fucking well, uh, our victory, Preston Poulter got revealed to be a cuck who takes it up the ass from his wife. It couldn't have been better. And then here's where we are. I'm sitting here screaming at Pan. Uh, I got uh, I got Anna, I got Cecil, I got Malin all pissed off. These guys are vital to my show. I need them happy and funny so that I can continue to uh, to sell comic books. And I got War Campaign making everybody crazy over something that's just, it's not even their purview. I don't even know why War Campaign's talking about this shit. I don't understand it. Talking about what? Talking about A, dynamite. Talking about B, peasant class. The peasant class of Comics Gate. And C, no, no, no. The attitudes. And C, talking about uh, Anna's uh, poor sister. I don't understand what War Campaign well, is doing now. And unless War Campaign is making a deliberate break uh, from me uh, and, uh, and my association, which is what it, if that's the case, that's cool. Let me know. Let me in on it. We did. We told you. We're I, done. I heard you, and then it came with all of this shit. Yeah. Go do your own thing. What are you doing? I came on to tell you. You guys exploded. You guys just quit fucking self-immolated. Quit lying. I haven't lied to you, Pan. I'm telling you, you the you truth. You're telling lies on Charlie's London threads about how. No, I'm no, 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 no. See, Oz, remember the whole thing about what's a lie and and what's uh, not a lie. <laughs> you that no you just proof. had this conversation. You have no proof to that. Yes, you yes. Completely okay. made that pan, up. Pan, pan. No, that I jump, pan. I jump to a conclusion based on pretty good evidence. And pretty you're telling good evidence. me you have no evidence. There's absolutely no evidence. I just told you. Untrue. I just told you. It's not evidence. That's not Pan, evidence. when you say I'm going to march my dead sister on you, and then that shows up, and then you make a big deal out of it, it seems to me like it's a gay op. Now, well, did I jump to did not... I did I jump to the wrong conclusion? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you and I aren't having conversations anymore, Pan. Nope. So how am I supposed to know? What I'm getting out of you are death threats. That's not a death threat. That was You're a death crazy. threat. Pan, shut the fuck. Just knock it off. You're probably drunk. Was you get, really? That's why I wasn't even well, worried I don't, about I don't it. I really drink much. Was that? All right. was, you yeah, really that was a that death threat. Uh, yes, it was. 
You're yeah, a I got cry baby. You're a I'm not. I'm not crying. I acknowledged it for what it was. I'm not it's worried not about it because it's coming threat. from you. Holy shit! It's not. It's. I'm not worried about it because it's coming from you. And I'm like, Pansy, they're high you or drunk. I, you think I just and he's sending me threats? bullshit. Come on, you're crazy, dude. Pan, I showed it to everybody, and everyone in the chat thought it was a death threat. Well, I'm telling you, it wasn't. Okay, Pan. Well, uh, and in any case, Pan. And why do you play uh, circumstances? Like that? Circumstances. Why are you play victim? Oh, it was a death threat. No, dude. Pan, you belong to an organization that says hashtag blame war campaign. You guys exist on victimhood. It's not pointing the finger at other people playing victim. You guys are all about victimhood. Blame war a, campaign. Oh, blame war we're so we're bullied by everyone. Everyone un misunderstands us. It's a joke. You don't get fucking. Well, you know what, Pan. You don't get it's not anymore. a joke. It's not a parody. We're it literally is your way of. We're yeah, an it's, organization. We're a YouTube show, dude. It's not an organization. You are a union. You are a political union, self-appointed. So everyone of in Comic the chat is an organization. So everyone in no, the just, chat now is an organization. No, just war campaign. War campaign is. Why is war campaign a political an union? You are. Bullshit. That is what you are. Yes, it's you a are. YouTube show. And you say we're customers and You're we have crazy. rights. You're nuts, dude. Pan, you're exercising. You guys exercise you're gonna tell me politics. What war campaign is? I created War Campaign, motherfucker. You're not going to tell me what it is. Well, I'm here to tell it's you what YouTube you created. Show. I'm it's here to tell you what you created. Pan, you're I'm crazy, here to tell brother. you what you created. You created a union. You're here to make up fucking lies on Charlie's London threads about my dead sister, you fucking scumbag. Uh, and we're and, back to this. And, and we're back. <laughs> Our campaign is SJW cancel culture. It's the entire reason CG was even started. And I agree. I disagree with Twitter. You're a that, huge um, SJW. You're talking about refunding people because you get butt hurt. You're the biggest SJW around well read user one. Why don't you shut the fuck up? So I disagree with uh, Twitless, where you said that troll, um, troll culture defines counterculture in the 2016 election. CG was never about troll culture. We were the normies looking for uh, a haven to get away from troll culture. Troll culture is not um, an alt culture thing. It's pervasive in uh, in the left and the mainstream as well. It's what spawned comic skating, gamergate, and all these other um, al alternative movements. Normal people wanting to be able to uh, exercise the, their freedom to purchase what they want in um, um, the a free open marketplace and having people deride them for making choices. And right. that's what sure, war, sure. War, a war campaign turned into. And that's the reason why this rift exists because uh, we always just wanted to exercise our freedoms here without being dictated to by anybody. So when Ethan um, associates with Dynamite or all these other companies, that's freedom of association. And frankly, it's good because normies are supposed to network and normies are supposed to grow their business. They're not supposed to become radical ideologues that uh, write up, you know, uh, doctrines that everybody has look to at, adhere to. Look at little to. Isaac Lavinia. Look at his little face. Like, he's a little mommy's darling, and look at the way he's talking. That could be totally that's, a stock image. <laughs> that's I, I like, that's I like, war he campaign. Looks, I, he looks like a Monchi chief. Oh, he's, I mean, it's like, shut the fuck up, well, red bitch! It's like, that guy would never say that in real life. That's I war campaign. Isaac Lavina. I agree with him. You agree with that? He's shut yeah. the fuck up, well, red bitch? Yes! Well, I, I don't. I don't agree. I don't. Agree. I don't believe War Campaign actually believes in anything in particular. They're the same trolls that were uh, blue hairs just a month ago. They float around between um, these tribal experiences, and they just want a chance to get off online. Frankly, we're blue hairs, but we hate SJWs and talk shit about them all the time and battle them. Well, online. the minute you guys will get marginalized, you'll be back on the SJW side, paid by really? Renthemus and attacking nah, us. We're I mean, paid by Renthemus now. Well, like, your, again, whole thing, uh, your whole thing is tribalism. Death I mean, you threats, guys just want paid a sense by of belonging. Oh this my god, you weird, guys. Uh, projection of identity online i mean I what do you really believe in projection. frankly like why don't you tell us what war campaign believes in and how all of us are are betraying you know we the principle of war campaign on that we deserve show. all of this cancellation from you guys cancellation oh no you're a victim oh jesus we well, believe you're in narrative a good you're you're lying we about people in so what do you think you're doing who am i lying about can you show evidence where i'm lying I'd like well, you've been lying that. about Ethan this entire stream. Have I? I mean, all I hear is uh, childish accusations and spin. Tell us really? what we're doing that's so wrong. How are we defying your, your rules that you actually live by? And well, you're just an I annoying bitch, it. really. Yeah. Can you make a, a point, please? Like, I'll be nice to you. Can you make a point? Man? Yeah, I can make the point. You're the guy that uh, when Cecil took your wrench 
you cried and tried to take it out on all the <laughs> Comicsgate creators you had bought books from and said, I'm going to refund all my Comicsgate books because Cecil took my wrench. So this That's is what, what you're known for. That's no, what you're known SJW for. You're an SJW. Tactic, right? Like, you want to personalize and label and project. The minute somebody criticizes uh, an project. SJW, they're, That's they're what you're not. Stop bro. calling right? shit so as... Gate, don't man. listen to that person's Comics voice. History, bro. Because you're well label, label, uh, personalize, personalize. Why don't you state some principles? Make something, uh, uh, some objective point here that is, we can actually discuss my, and think about. My principle is when, when Ethan took my wrench... I didn't go refund all his books. That's my principle. Well, that's because you asked me to take your wrench. Uh, or no, Rose you did. Well, I, Ro Rose said, no. uh, take all our wrenches away. Because we no, want to be able to I, act I, independently and not as representatives of you in any I, way. And I said, I sounds to good to me. I off and then broke up with you on your Sounds show, good to you me. And took my wrench. See, how is this not an SJW tactic to just go after people? Well, personally? because SJW is, SJWs are about intersectionality. None, nobody's... People are like, this is SJW. No, SJWs have tactics, and those tactics work. Uh, but it has nothing to do with uh, blue-haired intersectionality and the victim hierarchy and all of that stuff, identity politics. So people saying you're acting like an SJW is a stupid thing to say. Uh, you're using uh, tactics that I disapprove of is something different. Uh, but uh, no, none of the people that we're speaking to here, as far as I know, uh, you know, have a have a pyramid of victims, uh, you know, based on skin color, gender, sexual preference, etc., uh, that they adhere to that instruct how they view the world. So let's stop calling each other SJWs. It's really stupid. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think they're collectively victims. So oh, and I don't up. see I don't see how it's difficult for them to float between uh, intersectionality and uh, the victimhood that they play here. I'm not saying they're literal SJWs, literal. You're the blue guy that called the cops over they're... nothing the other day, and you're going to say other people are playing victim. Holy shit, bro! Do you listen to yourself? You called they're... the cops and fucking in my Isaac. state. Isaac, my sorry, I, I, you're you're. I, I'm just saying it's funny because you you look like a, a little kid and you're telling people to shut the fuck up and Isaac call them Isaac Lavina is the fucking man. All right, he all right. He's the <laughs> fucking man. What can I tell you? He's I heard his feelings on accident. I didn't mean to. All right. So I, I think I, their I, identity. I think their identity has a lot of things in common with uh, SJWs, and I'm not saying they're in here promoting think, leftist you think, you ideology. Think, you don't know I'm shit. saying that they act exactly like the SJWs do. You even do, watch the show? With just different talking points. Do you watch the War Campaign show? Yeah, I've watched it a few times. I watched it early on, actually, too, and I know I know your guys' bit, and I always thought you guys were funny, and I always wanted you guys to be part of Comicsgate, but I don't know. You went very extreme, and uh, now you're extreme? purity testing everybody. You're purity How? testing people. You got me proof of that? Yeah, well, so that, that's, that's called sea lioning. Give me proof. Give me well, proof of that. What, what, Where what, are your we receipts? Need, we need something to go on. Well, we I mean, can't just take his fucking word for it. We know the guys. Well, I, I you know, I told you that you were threatening me with death, and you said, "Where are the receipts?" And I gave you the receipts, and, and everybody and, agreed, and you said that was not a death threat. So well, receipts don't work you. on no, you. No, well, no, hold on. I mean, I, I mean, we we so we, it was we, we, we covered yes, that earlier. It was, it well, was, dude. Didn't clearly, you, oh, brother. God, you're such a pussy, dude. I'm not a pussy, or I'd be. I would have reported the death threat. I didn't do any of that. Not a death threat. It was. A good, death though. threat. There's no other Bro. way to interpret that. You're any, but any, you could show that to ten people, and ten out of ten people would re would realize that was a death is threat. That, You're being between, silly. Yeah, is that between, be honest. Never, uh, be honest. Be honest. You were pissed hey. off, and you wanted to kill me. And you know what, Pan? No, come on, brother. Pan, Pan. I don't want, want to kill you. Pan, you wanted to kill me yesterday. I want to slap you. Wanted in the to nuts. right in the nuts. Just like well, you know, attack. I with your mouth. You mean right? You mean with your mouth? No. Okay. With your mouth. Right, back in the nuts. So, yeah, no. put my nuts in your mouth, uh, no, like they no. are now. No. Uh, you, uh, look, uh, you did. You wanted to you're kill me yesterday. Crying, you're crying, victim. You wanted to kill me yesterday, was, and it's really sad. I have a four-year-old. I got a how wife. You, how, do you, how would you? Know how you sad know? is that? Wait, did, 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 wait, wait. Oh if, my God, if it's the tweet we covered earlier, <laughs> didn't we? Didn't we already cover the fact that like it, he didn't mean it as a death threat, but you could take it as that. I don't and care. He's, it now he's saying he's saying him. it is for sure. Oh, I mean, it's it's crazy. All right, he's fucking with me. That's cool. Let me tell right, you, it right. wasn't a death. <laughs> I don't care. All right, let's let's move on. What what is this? What I do we do have wanna, to discuss I do here? I want to love tap you in the nuts, though. I know you do with your mouth. Oh no. Okay. Uh, my, now, <laughs> with my with the, the back of my hand. 
I don't know why you want to touch my genitals not, at not all, my palm. Man. Not okay. my palm. Okay, and are my genitals out and exposed no, uh, during no, 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 this no, no. Uh, fully, transaction? Fully closed. Fully closed. I mean, what what the hell are you talking about? All right, so uh, I, want sl- I want to slam you in the neck. Okay. <laughs> We got carry it. Let's carry it. Right. right. Message received. Next, yeah. yeah. <laughs> next. Next topic. Twitless. Hello. <laughs> Where did everybody go? <laughs> I'm here. I did pan leave. Pan left. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Well, tell me. Tell me. Um, Twitless. Are you? Are you free tomorrow? I am yes. It well, depends what time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Sure. Okay. Will you come on and uh, have a chat to me about uh, yourself and who you are? I mean, like, you want me to dox myself? I mean, is that no, no. Is, is this is this all gay op? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> I don't care. I'll get my <laughs> I'll get my buddies at Kiwi Farms to do that. My good oh, friends. It's, it'll it'll be way too easy. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, so, okay, one thing I wanted to, to say to Ethan uh, specifically is, um, and again, I, I was going to light just a little bit of a fire under you, if you didn't mind, because um, earlier on the show was just like, you know, really, really dead, and I was like, I got a, I've got a topic, I've got uh, a thing to say. I want you okay. to do that, yeah, that's okay. what I was hoping for. All right, all right, all right that's fair, um, because uh, I followed you, just to give just a teeny bit of a background, I followed you, or, or I knew who you were back with uh, Rob Granito. Back when that was on Bleeding Cool, the whole Rob Granito thing with Mm -hmm. Mark Wade. And I remember at the very beginning, Mark Wade was like, oh, well, you know, when the lefty uh, hippie and the Nazi get together. And I was like, that's that's a real subtle dig there. I didn't appreciate it because, you know, I I see leftists do that where they say, oh, I'm a hippie, but you're a Nazi. Wink, wink, as if it's like equivalent. And uh, I even wrote a blog post about it, whatever. Anyway, so I I remember like, you know, kind of having a little torch in your corner. And then uh, then the whole comic skate thing kind of happened. And then I dipped out, and then, you know, six months later, half of my Twitter feed is fighting with the other half of my Twitter feed. Here is my problem. My problem is, is that, you know, when I turn on my normie, you know, radar, okay, um, I see people that I respect, people that I follow, people that I know are good people, and uh, on on one side of the divide, and uh, and then I see your side, and I've, I've watched hours of your content, and I see, you know, you're just a big guy who's talking about pie, and I like that, but, and here's the big but here, both sides are calling each other evil. Okay. And I've seen you lump people together and kind of say, these are, these are evil people. And then I've talked to those people and they're like, no, you know, we, we've stopped talking about Ethan, you know, you know, months ago and he keeps lumping us in together. And they're like, Ethan's evil. And I'm like, well, crap, shit. What am I supposed to do with this? You know, like, you know, who is the real evil person here? And Ethan, you do talk a enormous amount of shit and that's fine. But you know, it doesn't do you much credit, I'll say. And it doesn't do anyone else much credit when they jump right into it and just start shit flinging with you. And I'll say you're like better at shit flinging than most people. But I mean, what the hell, man? <laughs> what do you want me to say to that? <laughs> what uh, the fuck was that, man? I, was there a fucking question in there? Okay, or what? All right, the, the question that is. That was here. a really long ramble, dude. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so. Do you think that the people on the other side, the the uh, the Doug Tenables, the um, uh, you know Nurkishes, the, again, I haven't followed all of this super closely. Are these people evil to you? Uh, no. Okay. Can you can you expand a little bit on that? Because I feel like you, they get lumped in together on your live streams and everyone's talking shit, and then all of a sudden it gets really popular to bang on these people, and then it's like you know, oh, they're the villains, they're the evil guys. We need to fight against them. Well, that's we don't, the, we that's don't become I, the narrative. I have, you know what? I I've never, I don't think I've ever said uh, that any one person is evil. I think the word evil came out of my mouth recently with regards to the tweets that I was seeing about Anna. I said this is evil. I didn't say they were evil. I said this is evil. So uh, it's not people, it's behavior uh, that I find to be reprehensible and evil. And I want it stopped. And I want it stopped yesterday. And in some cases, I want it apologized for, if possible, uh, in this climate. It's not very likely that that kind of a thing is going to happen. I don't think Doug Tenapel is evil. I think he's a dickhead. Uh, I don't think Nurkish is evil. I think he's just kind of a sap. 
uh, I don't like these people. I don't like these individuals. But you see, there's a big difference between calling something uh, someone evil, which I don't believe I've done, uh, and uh, the actions or behavior of a person or people. Uh, and in this case, uh, I feel very strongly, very strongly, uh, that what I've seen over the past week uh, out of war campaigners, it's not all of them, but a great deal of them, qualifies as evil. And uh, I hate to say that because they were closely associated with me and people told me for a long time, you got to get rid of them. And I said, no, I, they're funny. They're okay. Uh, well, they're making dildo memes. Those are fine. They're, you know, look, not a big deal. And I still stand by that. Uh, I found I found the Ellen memes uh, to be pretty fucking evil. And I, I don't know what else to say about that. I stand by that. Evil to the point where... Uh, I'm going to raise my voice about them, obviously, and I'm going to yell. Uh, and I don't yell like that. I haven't even yelled like that at my own kid ever in his life. Uh, I'm yelling at Pan as though he is my child, and I'm trying to get through to him. Uh, that is That shit was evil, and I want it stopped because I believe in Comicsgate. I believe in uh, the future that we're building here, and uh, those... That kind of shit cannot coexist uh, with what we're doing here. It can't. We can't. I can't do business with that. Uh, and uh, it is not inviting or welcoming to new customers, uh, new people who are investigating Comicsgate, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that is uh, that's the difference. All right, tweet list. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there with you, buddy. Uh, you're welcome to come on uh, tomorrow night uh, if you would. Uh, shoot me a DM if you like. Otherwise, uh, if you just come in the chat and alert me, I'll um, I'll put the link in for you. Will do. Great. Right. Thanks right. for the chat. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to Comicsgate. <laughs> goodbye, Comicsgate. Nice talking to you, okay. Ethan. Yeah, you too. So, Ethan. Yes, sir. Tell me how your um, how your first experience of uh, live without Liam has gone? Uh, very energized. I didn't think that it was going to be this noisy, uh, mm. but I stand by everything that I said. Uh, and I stand by the passion in which I expressed it. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all of it. And I, I haven't yelled like that, like I said, in a long time, but God damn it. Uh, God damn it, Oz. Mm. Uh, you know, mm. uh, I could feel I could feel the passion emanating from you. <laughs> could you? <laughs> All I the could. way on the other side of the world. Yeah. As as your avatar, you know, as I watch your avatar expand as you talk, um, I could just feel that energy just going through through the computer into and into me with your. Well, passion. I got I got people. I got a dude who's sitting there. You know, like. As if being offended and horrified by that kind of stuff makes you a pussy, that's going to make me raise my voice. And I don't like to raise my voice. My voice is precious to me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a live stream. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk uh, in 10 hours. Uh, but uh, th that's infuriating to me. I think uh, if, you, if you are not outraged by that kind of stuff, something's wrong with you. Uh, I don't want to live in a world where, uh, you know, that kind of stuff goes on is goes unchallenged and people are not furious about it. I don't want to live in that world. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm going to, I did what I thought I needed to do in order to, uh, to fight that eventuality. Mm. I'm, I'm angry about it. Very angry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, I can, I can see that it, it has uh, affected you on a personal level. Um, uh, on a personal, uh, no, I, I don't. I don't know if it has affected me on a personal level, Oz. Uh, right. I just don't like. No, I don't. I don't like to watch other people. I don't like to watch other people suffer like that. I don't. I don't think it has much to do with me. Uh, but I, I. I. I can't. Here's the thing. I've still got every one of my. I've got every one of my brothers and sisters. I've got eight brothers and sisters. I have both of my parents. The other day, I was making a joke uh, about having a heart attack over something, and I was trying to do a. Uh, Sanford and Son riff, and I was thinking, who's the closest person to me that's up in heaven waiting for me? 
And it was my grandfather on my father's side. You know, a pop, pop, I'm on my way. I'm coming, pop, pop. This is the big one. So I have not been touched by death. Thank God. And not by someone so young and somebody, a sibling like that. And uh, as I said, uh, I, I have... Uh, I have difficulty understanding what that kind of pain is like. I can't. I can't understand what that would be like uh, to go through the circumstances that Anna went through. Uh, and uh, uh, there's all kinds of other background around this. I think Anna and her sister were even fighting the week before. Uh, it's a really awful situation. Awful situation. Mm. So... I, uh... it, is an, it is an awful situation, and I think um, the, the targeted use of those memes and the, the forwarding and the liking of them, I think, um, I'm not sure why anybody's bothering to defend that behavior. Well, in the chat now, it's just like, look, uh, who touched you, EVS? You can share yeah. some of these. I don't like it. Is it I've funny? been sharing them all the way through. Don't worry. I haven't, I haven't been, <laughs> okay. um, I've been, I I've mean, been is this up. funny? Is this funny? I, I, I don't know, man. I, no, no, know. no. It's, it's not funny. It's serious because, and this is when I, when I said that, you know, it's touched you on a personal level. I didn't mean that, um, as in you have a weakness there and, and that's like to be exploited. It's more just like, um, in your daily life when you're trying to work and you're trying to get things done and there there are certain points where you do have to rely on other people in your sphere sure. and when those when those people like let you down as uh, you know as war campaign have let you down then you you're going to have the, this reaction this personal reaction because these aren't just people that sort of were just a fan campaign, fan club. They they were actually people involved behind the scenes with business and um, friendships and things like that. Uh, yeah, I think I, I considered Ro a friend uh, to the point where I, I spoke with him on the phone a few times and we talked about family stuff. Uh, you know, so th it's all very disappointing. I've never spoken to Pan on the phone. Uh, or Gat, you know, I don't know, I don't have a personal relationship with these guys, but I felt like I, you know, uh, I knew a little bit about Roe. So all of this is, uh, it's, it, it's disappointing on a personal level in that way. Yeah. The, the, you know, things have gone this way. Uh, but yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I feel, I still feel like I'm, there wasn't any other way I could take this. Hmm. I, I wish there was. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to plug something quickly. While well, you're here, would um, and also Ethan, I won't keep you too long, but I just I do want to I do want to show you something. I've got uh, I've got some news about um, oh god, what's her name? Uh, Miss Miss Peggy, what's uh, Preston Poulter's wife? Oh boy, okay. What's her <laughs> name? I don't know. All right. Oh oh oh, uh, Mistress uh... Mistress Roulette, Mistress yeah, Roulette. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm going to show that. Um, because it's pretty funny. And but before that, let me just show you. Have you heard of our um Orange Koala campaign? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. You want to show it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, for those of you that are new in the chat and don't don't know, um Liam has uh is set up uh, well I've set it up for Liam and uh, my show to get donations to uh, run the show. And um, do you know the reason why we, we've set our goal at, at $5,000? No. No? Well... Um, it says $500. It says 500 but but our actual goal is, is $5,000 because... Uh, are you familiar with the Incel Brothers? Yes. Yeah. Well, the Incel Brothers, uh, they went on their stream and... Um, they they spent a, a long segment complaining that they weren't getting paid to do their weekly show <laughs> and that if they've set up a patreon and uh they are uh, asking for five thousand dollars a month in which case they can um quit their job and um run their show 
and you, you should do it. You should feel obliged to do it because they're giving you all your talking points and your opinions in life. Right. Yeah, sure. Mm. So they've raised $37. Okay, <laughs> It's a start. <laughs> It's a start. It's been going for a while. Uh, it's probably not as as grand as they thought it was, but but Liam was of the opinion that hey, we do a show every single night, not just once a week, and we're not getting paid for it at all. And I think if we can get paid for it, then um, that would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have these orange pins and stickers and. Um, magnets and uh triple packs these are all in australian dollars so it's it's dollary dues so it's it's actually heaps cheaper the pin is like six dollars fifty us or something and the shipping's like four or five dollars or something so it's cheap as chips it's the it's the cheapest um product that comicscape offers so if you want to show your support get a pin We've got this giant um, orange koala mega box, which is about 120 US dollars. And that gives you like shitloads of pins and stickers. And, um, you know, I don't know what you're going to do with it, but like there's heaps of them. And then you get a free sketch with that as well. Well, I will certainly contribute. And I think everybody else should too, because well, uh, the show's. I fun. think everyone, everyone that's intending on. Uh, attending the comic con the the are we are we still going going ahead with that believe it or not we're going to do it yeah yeah so anyone that uh wants to attend that comic con i think that they should get a an orange umbrella pin because how cool would it be if everyone in the crowd had one of these uh the these pins on and like you could see whereabouts is it going to be um orlando or <laughs> yeah it's going to be orlando so yeah. it'll be fun yeah, so you'd see people around at Orlando, and they'd be having these pins, and you'd be like, "That dude is Comics Gate." Mm. I love it. That's great. Yeah, yeah mm. that's a good idea. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's your. I mean, you could. You, you. I mean, this was your pitch, you know, to yeah. sell koala pins. Uh, I see. Mm. Could have could have been a little more high energy. I'm not saying you needed to shout at Pan and and you know or you know shout like I shouted at Pan, but. Maybe a little bit more energy. Uh, well, I'm being told that I'm shilling hard. I, I, I guess it's all relative, you know. Mm. Mm. I also, I do feel a little bit guilty because it, it is raising fun, funds for our show and Liam's sort of not holding up his end of the bargain at the moment. I, so I, I could imagine that people don't want to fund it for that. But rest assured... Um, I will try to take a disproportionate amount of money from it if you support me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna buy a whole pile of uh, koala pins, and I can't wait. So, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so, um, Mistress Roulette. Oh boy. Uh, we've been trying to get her on the. Uh, we've been trying to get her on the show, and she's keen to come on. But this situation with you and Preston and uh, the police that keep uh, coming to your door, which you refuse to get served, mm -hmm. um, is delaying delaying my uh, interview with um, Orby. Well, wait, is she saying that? She's worried that the, you know, my, well, I mean, look, uh, I've had the Texas PD uh, surrounding my house uh, with battering mm -hmm. rams uh, for the past uh, month. And, and she's saying that's the holdup? And what does it say there? Okay, so uh, I hadn't heard from her a while. And then she, she messaged me out of the blue. And she said, basically, y you deserve to understand what's going on. And, um, and she says, the complications, Oz, are these. Yes, he did threaten me not to talk to anyone. But I'm also finding it increasingly difficult not to. It feels as if I'm condoning the behavior of his that I've witnessed by being silent regarding it. And I'm simply growing tired of always protecting him. I think that especially in the coming weeks and months, issues of justice, restitution, and remediation are going to only become more rather than less relevant. 
and I've just had to decide whether or not I'm comfortable with Preston continuing to get away with doing harm to others. Mm. I've had to weigh the consequences versus the benefits of doing so. But it's my conscience that's making it difficult to continue my silence. That's how I truly feel. Now it goes on. And we just got to get up the next page. I mean, she she's stuck a 10-inch dildo in his ass. Uh, you know, I, I feel like uh, she's done everything she can to make sure that he doesn't, quote-unquote, get away with it. It's, maybe it's not enough. Maybe it's never enough. Yeah. For example, a good man does not say there's no paper trail of any abuse she's alleging. <laughs> a good man says why he does not and would not abuse women or anyone. Preston's answer should be telling. I'll leave it at that for now. Thumbs up from me. <laughs> I like the thumbs up answer. It's just like, whatever. You know, that's... <laughs> okay. And then uh, she comes back half an hour later. Does Liam have any horse in that race, if I may ask? And I said, no. We both think Preston is a scumbag. The audience is fascinated by the drama, so I want to hear from you. But we never have Preston on our show. Mm. Hmm. Is that so it? That, or is there more? The that's the state of things. I just thought that I would reveal that um, for you because you're my guest. And yeah. um, I, I won't I just... tell anyone. Uh, it, 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 looks, uh, it looks like she wants to come on, but she's afraid. Uh, yes. Tell her to uh, rest assured. Uh, Preston's crazy. And there have been, no, there's no police thing that's happening. Uh, mm. There isn't. I mean, the police have not come to my door. Uh, and they have not called me. I don't think I'm in any trouble at all. I got a lot of people telling me that I'm in trouble. Uh, and I, uh, I beg to differ. I don't think I'm in any trouble at all. None. Uh, and that is, uh, that's too bad. It is really devastating to a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people are hoping that there's something that's going to mm. be revealed that's going to prove something that's going to lead to me being in trouble. And I will say again, I beg to differ. I don't think there's anything. I don't think, I, I don't think I'm going to be arrested. Uh, I don't think there's any high crime or misdemeanor uh, that I've been involved this uh, with that you guys don't know about uh, that's going to be revealed. Uh, and therefore I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, I don't think there's anything su uh, substantive uh, that somebody like Pan could reveal about me that's going to get me in trouble. Uh, indeed, uh, I think I'm, I'm okay. So tell her not to worry uh, and be as confident as I am and come on this show and let's interview her about what it's like to stick a 14-inch dildo uh, in Preston Poulter's ass. Let's Literally interview. and not just metaphorically. You know? So when, when you when you when you said let's interview you, you'd like to be on the show to interview her? Is that no, I want to be in the audience to oh, watch good. you guys interview yeah. her. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta I just gotta quickly say that because there'll be uh thirty uh thirty DMs tomorrow telling me that EVS is um, trying to take over my show. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I want to watch the show. I just wanted to come on today because I, I swear to God, you've done like three shows mm. and I'm at least 20 minutes of each of them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the conversation always turns to me. They they cannot escape you. Uh, I don't I don't quite understand it. I don't talk about them. I don't talk mm. about any of these people. I don't know why they talk about me all the time. Why Why worry about me? What, 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 I mean, you know, don't I give enough Oz? I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I do my YouTube uh, shows every single night. Uh, you know, I offer CyberFrog product for sale. I help other people get their books promoted. I feel like I give so much and yet they want more. They want to talk about me even more. Uh, so I wanted to come in here anyway and address some weird stuff that people were saying. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of the absolute bullshit. I wanted to talk about dynamite. Uh, where War Campaign could hear it. Uh, War Campaign are like, he kept it secret from us. 
I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think I did. I think I mentioned Dynamite many times, but I don't think I've told War Campaign all of the people who are helping me build the product that I sell. Maybe I should. Maybe I owe that to them in Comicsgate. You know, maybe it's my obligation uh, or else I'm not Comicsgate. Uh, heard them talking. Uh, oh, God, what else? What else were they saying, Oz? Were you listening? Yeah, uh, one of the one of the big things I think that they uh, they constantly complain about is is they're obsessed with you having these alts, Ethan. Like this is mm -hmm. like the main thing to these guys that I see in common with all of them is that they're obsessed with you having alts, and whether you like someone who's an alt, which means that it's your alt, and and things like that. That that seems to be some real bugbear with these people. Yeah, I think that uh, if you'll share my screen for a minute here, uh, am I being shared? Yep. Okay, so let me just log out of my account here. Log out. Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, let me get rid of this. So this is my normal uh, login here. That's going to lead you right back to where I was. Let's get rid of that. Uh, these two here, Ethan and Ethan, are going to lead you right back to the same account. And then there's this one, all caps comics. Let's click on this and log in. This is my alt. Uh, no, let's forget about that. Uh, here we go. So this is my alt account uh, profile. Uh, it's Ethan Van Skyver. So as you can see, I'm hiding very cleverly, uh, cleverly, Lee, cleverly, uh, in broad daylight. Uh, it's at Skyver Ethan. I've got 31 followers and four following. And I, I just opened it up again today just to see if there was anything in it. But really, I only used it once in November of 2018 to go say some shit to Tim Doyle uh, and who had me blocked. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it. Uh, and the thing is, there's a there's a trend going on where I think people are creating alts and imitating my voice uh, and they think it's funny. Uh, so to put on an imperious voice and command as Caesar or the human sunbeam, uh, that is kind of what's going on right now. And to me, I think it's funny. I, I think full Yakuza Ronin is an absolute genius. I wish I was as clever as she is. I'm not. Uh, I, I, you know, point of fact, wish that uh, she would actually do all my tweets for real because uh, she's hilarious. Uh, and this Despotilus person, uh, based on a character for the Sinestro Corps, which I co-created, uh, actually Despotilus itself was created by Moose Bauman. Uh mm -hmm which is, uh, I don't know if the person who was running that account is aware of that irony. Um, but uh, that is not me either. Uh, not at all. And I liked that account when they were called Ehe Van Skyver. Uh, Ehe is the nickname my dad gave me and embarrassingly, uh, when I was a child, you know, embarrassingly revealed it on the air when my dad was sharing the air with me. He just kind of said, hey, Ehe. Yeah, I called him Ehe when he was a little kid. Uh, now people call me Ehe. Uh, you must believe me when I tell you. I would not set up a Twitter account called Ehe Van Skyver. Uh, that's not something I would do. And then I would also not switch that account to be Despotilus, uh, a character created by Moose Bauman, uh, for the purpose of tormenting war campaign, which is something that if I wanted to do, uh, I would either do it with my alt that I just showed you, uh, that is my name, or I would just do it under my real account. Uh, I've chosen instead to block them, uh, you know, block war campaign. Uh, for now, until maybe maybe that'll change. Maybe we'll settle down. Uh, but uh, until such time as they're not filling my timeline uh, with ridiculous memes. Mm. So uh, and it, just just so we're we're clear as well, Ethan. Um, I'm going to assume that uh, you you're not uh, as technically savvy as to set up a separate VPN for each of your alts in order for you to show us that screen you just did. Uh, no, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, that's that. That's the general vibe that I was getting from watching your live streams. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't. No, know I'm how just to... saying. I'm. I'm the same. I'm the same. I'm the same. I'm still my my bloody um, Yeti microphone just keeps getting uh, rejected from my um, my laptop, but it's an intermittent fault. So I'm stuck with these um, gaming headphones, and I keep oh, it's driving me absolutely insane. But anyway. The one thing I think people need to understand about me is they, I, you know, they call me a narcissist and I might be, you know, I don't know. I, I do kind of feel like the world revolves around me because it seems to, uh, everywhere I go, people are talking about me. 
Uh, I want people to understand that um, I, I, I would speak as myself, uh, and I do. I, I would not hide uh, because I want my words uh, to be like my waistline. I want them to have weight. Uh, and so when they're coming from me, they mean something. If they're coming from Despotilus, they don't mean anything. Uh, so, you know, when I want to say fuck you, I say it as Ethan Van Skyver, not as some random alt that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I don't have sock puppet accounts. I don't do that. But what it is, uh, what it looks like uh, is that people are becoming very paranoid. Uh, and uh, they think about me a lot, a lot more than I think about me. And I think about me most of the time. So I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So everybody, I would really like to thank you for coming. <laughs> There's uh, 252 people here watching. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, you can thumbs up or thumbs down on your way out. I don't mind. I, I like to see the ratio, whether you, you enjoyed the show or not. If you did enjoy the show and um, you're into this kind of content, uh, EVS will assure you that this is pretty much a standard daily occurrence on my show. Well, I so, mean, it's never been. I've, you've never had me screaming at the top of my lungs. Oh, no, no, no. But I can never actually tell people what's going to happen on my show. So it's always worth tuning in, even if you're drawing and you've got it in the background. Tune in, and uh, I like to be as audio-friendly as I can, so uh, I like to read out the chats and so on and so forth. Yeah, um, do it. Yeah. If we can get ourselves up to a 1,000 subscribers on this channel, then uh, we can get the super chats, and um, that's super fun. As uh, as Guy would say, um, yeah. So subscribe if you if you like it. All right, please subscribe anyway. It doesn't what it doesn't cost anything. Reach over and hit the subscribe button and ring yeah, the bell actually, for yeah, notifications. Yeah, subscribe anyway. And if you if you don't want to watch it, then just turn off the bell. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to watch it. Trust me. This is it's it's cool. All right, Ethan, thanks so much for coming. Um, everyone back Cyberfrog, it's nearly at $3 million. Um, well, uh, $1 million. Oh, okay. Maybe in Australia. It's only yeah. at $1 million. Yeah. It's nearly at $1 million. Doesn't sound as good now that I've said $3 million, does it? No, it actually broke my heart. Mm. All right. Uh, life goals. So back, back Cyberfrog. It looks pretty cool. Um, we haven't seen too much artwork though from it, uh, Ethan. I hope hope to see a bit more of the uh, the artwork like last time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we don't need to see every page like last time, but it would be cool to see a few more. Uh, this one's a lot more spoilery, so I'll... yeah, that's what I was figuring. So I figured because the the stuff you've shown has been sort of. By the way, Despotilus just tweeted. Despotilus just tweeted just now. I just got a notification. Mm. Uh, so let's see what it says here and if they're pretending to be me. Um, this, it's semi-interesting, right? Or no, it isn't interesting. This bottle is said, uh, plus they totally stopped memeing Anna's sister. You can trust was campaign and put two memes up of uh, me and Anna's sister. So they are still memeing Anna's sister. Okay. Great. Mm-hmm. So that's not Ethan, everyone, all right? So, um, yeah, I will uh, look forward to watching. When's your next show, Ethan? You're going to have a day off? You're going to have a break? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my wife keeps coming down the stairs and looking at me, and I think she wants me to go for a walk or something. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go upstairs. But thank you so much, Oz. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, and uh, thanks to everybody who watched. And uh, sorry for yelling today. I I'm sorry, kids. All right. Goodbye, everybody.